doing in here? I'm hiding from Tom so I don't tell him your stupid secret. Don't you dare say anything. But not a word. You must keep the secret from Tom. Yeah, but how? Behold the solution to our secret. Things we do to pretend like we're not in love. Well, I mean, not love, but you know, whatever. Here you go. Everything is back to normal. Well, maybe not everything. I can't watch this. Aw. Uh, huh? <gasps> what does this do? I'm so excited to be celebrating Angela's birthday at the diner. I'm announcing it as if we don't already know we're here to celebrate Angela's birthday at the diner. You guys, this is so sweet, but totally unnecessary. Uh, don't drag that banner, Hank. Oh. That was okay, Angela. But okay is the enemy of great. So let's try that line again with feeling. Uh, Ginger, why are you recording everything we do? Oh, I'm just the zone making my documentary. A documentary? That's my favorite type of boring movie. Then you'll love this one because it's about you guys instead of interesting people. Oh, here we go again. Should I show you to the same table you always do this birthday thing at? Same table? Huh? Looks like somebody already had a birthday, birthday party. party here says the same thing every time. Huh? Happy birthday, Angela. What? Ginger. Are you getting this? Mm-hmm. Your documentary just turned into a docu-mystery. This is so weird. It was like there was already another birthday party for Angela before we got there. Are you having birthday parties with another group of friends behind our backs? What? No! Are you guys throwing birthday parties for another Angela behind my back? I'll tell you what I'd like to know. Why is it so cold in August? Yeah, Angela. What? It's not my fault. Why is all our stuff on the driveway? Ah! Wait, what happened? Whew, I just planted this corn a week ago. So singing to it does work. Hey, there you are. I warned you, did I not? Now this is what happens when you don't pay your rent for three months. <laughs> huh? But we did pay our rent. Every day, the same thing. You all like, but we did pay the rent. And I'm all like, no, you did not. Huh? Incompetence. Uh-oh. This is getting serious. Will someone please tell me what is going on here? Tom, there's a reason I've been recording you. I mean, first the diner, now huh? this? But Someone's got Tom, some explaining to do. I know what happened. I'll show you. My precious stuff! Hey! Show it on the driveway like but not wait. precious stuff! <laughs> this is your fault! Listen you goofed to off too much and didn't pay the rent! I paid! Hank must not have paid! What? I did pay! Ted must not have paid! Hey? Bet I'm only saying that because it's your turn to be blamed! Oh no, I, I don't stop! I don't stop! I do I don't stop! 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 I don't who know a lot more than a kid like you are trying to solve a serious crisis. Ah, uh, forget it. Well, until we figure out what's going on, you guys can stay at my apartment. Yes, great idea. I, I mean, you know, whatever the group wants to do. Whoa, 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 how much stuff do you have? I had to bring these. They may be tall, but they're still young to be out at night by themselves. Oh. Kind of running out of room in here. Well, your couch takes up a lot of space, but you don't hear me complaining about that. Now, Tom, help me move this uh, to the Sorry, I can't because I... Oh, a uh, cat's dad working? Of course not. I, uh, need to do something. Ooh, on my phone. That's right, on my phone. Oh, that makes sense. Oh. Uh, whoa, hey, wait a minute, guys, for reals. I just got an email from the CEO. He's inviting us over to talk about our inventions. Yes! Awesome. Fantastic! Finally, some good news! It gets better. He wants us to meet him three months ago. What? Three months ago? What? How could you miss a meeting with the CEO and not notice for three months? But, but... You know what? I don't want to hear your excuses. Mm. Damn it! 
again! Just call the CEO and make another appointment. And what exactly should I say? Sorry for keeping you waiting for three months. No, say two and a half months. See if he notices. Guys, I found these plans for a mind erasing device in my handwriting, but I don't ever remember writing these. Wow, a mystery wrapped in a mystery inside of another unrelated mystery. Is it possible that I invented a mind erasing device that then erased our memories? I don't remember that happening, so yes, it is possible. It would explain a few things. And it's the perfect excuse for why we missed our meeting. Tom, the CEO is not gonna believe such a lame excuse. Hello. Tom of Tom and Ben Enterprises here. Now, I know that it's been two and a half months since you invited <laughs> us to meet, but here's the thing. Our minds were erased and... Oh, you believe me? You want us to come over right away? Even better! <laughs> yeah. That seems way too convenient. See? Two and a half months. Who's the best friend I ever had? Who is? You know it's you, Goldie. You like swimming over here? Do you like swimming over here? Little Goldie Fish, Daddy loves you. Shoo! I'm just lucky I didn't set off the cord detector at the security gate. Come on, boys! And when you're done, we're gonna play more games. Yes, we are. <coughs> Hey, Tom and Ben, my favorite inventors. And oh, is that corn? Ah, corn. Reminds me of the simple farming values. Hard work and honesty. That's why I buy farms and replace the people with machines. Because what's more hardworking and honest than machines, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm so true. I mean, I always say that. Sir, we are so sorry for missing the meeting. Oh, oh no apologies necessary. We cool. Oh, ever since I got new Goldie here, I'm a more kickback person. We've already made so many great memories together. Goldie, little Goldie fish, daddy loves you, daddy loves you. Mm. Right, sorry again for missing this meeting, but like I said on the phone, we have a really good excuse, because it turns out our memories were actually erased by our latest invention. Yes, a mind erasing device. Imagine how dangerous that would be in the wrong hands. Of course, I'd use it for good. And making myself CEO, Chief Everything Officer. Oh, so that's what that stands for. How would that be good? It'd be good for me. Anyway, Ben, how would one, I don't know, take such a device and boost its power to, yeah, I don't know, to mind erase everyone on the planet? Well, for starters, I'm gonna need extra batteries. Get to the end, I already know the starters. Ah, okay. I do suppose much of it is rather self-explanatory. Wait, why would you need to know that, Mr. CEO? <sighs> Unless you had the mind eraser. <laughs> You mean this mind eraser right here? Wow, got me again, Angela. Yeah, I did. Wait, I did? Wait, again? That's 93 straight times you figured it out before the boys. Wait, you've been erasing our memories. Yep, I took the mind eraser from you three months ago and I've been modifying it every day since. I'd already be done, but Angela always figures out my plan before I get all the info I need from Ben, so I have to erase your memories again. Again? Well, let's see here, you'd need at least three antennae. Fascinating, how long should they be? Oh, probably no longer than- Hold on, why would you need to know that, Mr. CEO? Unless you had the mind eraser! <gasps> oh, okay, uh, look right here, and- Tungsten, antennae must be made of tungsten. Really? Why would you need to know that? <gasps> Unless you had the mind eraser! <gasps> oh, all right, hang on. Mm, I think it'd be better with an amplifying cone. Oh, that's brilliant. You had the mind eraser. <gasps> it was exhausting, going through the same thing every day. Except for the corn, <gasps> the corn is new. And now, I just need one last piece of info. Ha! You think I would ever tell you that what you need is to split the oscillation fields into multi-dimensional quadrants? No chance. Multi-dimensional quadrants, eh? Got it. <laughs> now, to memory erase you and take over the world. Ah, Monday is fun day. Wait, the corn! The corn is new! Everybody, get behind the corn! Huh? <gasps> no fair! I just want to wipe your memory so I can rule the world. <laughs> oh. Ah. Huh? Ah. Ah. Give me the mind eraser! I'll take that! <laughs> Goldie, do you remember me? Please, say something. 
Let me know you remember our good, good times. <laughs> They've taken my one friend away from me. This just got personal. No. Super personal. Come on, let's get out of here. Extra super personal. Times infinity. Oh! Uh, ah! Now who doesn't Ow! remember oh. stuff? Why did we invent a mind eraser with such sharp edges? At least, now it's destroyed. The greatest thing I ever made. Broken. Done. And the landlord let us move back in after no one would rent it because we left a distinctive and unpleasant odor. <laughs> oh. And that's how my friends learn they should always listen to me when I'm trying to tell them something important. Okay, turns out you are the only one of us who didn't have his mind erased 93 times. So, did we miss anything else that was important? Well, we did plan for an invasion of brain suckers, but that got handled. Oh, and then you all became billionaires! About time! But then you screwed it up. Ah! Yeah, we always do that. After having that birthday party over and over, Tom and Angela kissing, walking back to the garage confused. Wait, did you say kissing? That's ridiculous. It's not a lie. Look. But, Tom? I don't see any kissing. Yeah, me either. What do you even? <gasps> we, we, we kissed. Wow. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. No, no, no. What, what, what? No! what? Kedra, will you be quiet, please? We're trying to watch Most Extreme Romantic Ask Outs. Yeah, you're ruining the Most Extreme Romantic part. This garage was a much better place before it was filled with disgusting robots. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. I'll telecommunicate with you later, my darling Z. Digital kiss. So disgusting. <sighs> Angela, I haven't seen you since you and Tom well, <laughs> in the video. Well, um, so what brings <gasps> you here? I was actually hoping to talk to Tom. Have you seen him around? No, sorry, I haven't seen him. Hmm, that's weird. Well, at least I got to watch Extreme Romantic Ask Outs. Ah, <sighs> I love those things. Hmm. Anyway, if you see Tom, will you tell him I came by? I'll just throw my scalding hot tea in the trash can and be on my way. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 Tom? Oh, hey, Angela, what brings you kiss? Uh, here, I mean here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! Ah! Disgusting. Oh. Ah! What were you doing in the waste receptacle? I wasn't hiding to avoid Angela, if that's what you're asking. Ugh, disgusting. Quit saying that. Well, it is. <laughs> Sorry about these guys. Did you want to talk to me about something? As a matter of fact, I do. <clears throat> Start with small talk. Oh. <clears throat> hey, Tom, did you hear about that new movie that came out? Sounds like some people liked it, and some people did not like it. Also, it seems like things have been a little weird since we found out we kissed. <gasps> and I was hoping we could talk so things get unweird. Right! Talk! Oh! <laughs> yeah, I agree. Really? Oh, what a relief. Okay, because here's what I was thinking. What? Not now! What? <laughs> We shouldn't talk now. Why? Well, uh, well, because we both have things to do now. Oh, <laughs> okay, I guess. So when can we have a talk? I don't know. Uh, in an hour? Yeah, in an hour at, uh, uh, the diner. Perfect. It's a date. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, like a date on a calendar, right? I mean, because every day is a date. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, bye. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Oh, uh. oh, man, I just bought myself a sweet hour. Mm, actually, you bought yourself 58 minutes until you'll be at the diner asking Angela out on a date. Wait, a date? She said she wants to talk. Come on, Tom, think for a second, and you will easily decode Angela's signals. Hmm. Extreme romantic ask outs. I love those things. Date, ask out, it's a date. Ha, huh, you're right, Ben. Angela wants me to ask her out on a date, and 
I only have 58 minutes to figure out how to do it. More like 48 minutes. That was a whole flashback, Tom. Well, and you better do it right, because if there's one thing I learned from most extreme robotic ass-scouts, it's that the ass-scout sets the tone for the whole relationship. Okay. Can I watch one? You can watch them all. I've got the whole series. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Nice going, Romeo. Ah. Well, that's the best one yet. Okay, so the most successful ascouts involve man flight, a song comparing the relationship to something beautiful, and or flowers. Hmm, seems like a lot. Well, how much do you like Angela? Like a lot, a lot. All right, let's do this. Honey, are you gonna order yet? Or are you just still warm in that bench? Oh, just a few more minutes. I'm waiting for someone. Oh, you're one of those. Huh? No, no, I'm not one of those. I'm a girl waiting for the guy I like to definitely show up and tell me that he likes me too. Honey, I have seen this before. Someone comes in, they order dinner for two, and they leave alone with the doggy bag. <laughs> You're making that up, right? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I'm sure he's been real clear about how he feels. Avoid Angela. A date on a calendar. Oh, no. Rhonda, what if you're right? Uh, I'm always right, Angelica. Uh. device is ready to go! Angela's gonna love this so much, she probably won't even care that you're so late. Late? Ah, look how late I am! Why didn't somebody tell me? Ah. <laughs> ah. Ooh, what do you think this does? I don't know what I expected. Maybe when our minds were erased, his feelings for me were erased too. That is a confusing thing to say. How could Tom stand me up like this? I have so many sad feelings right now. It's like my heart's on an elevator that's going down and Tom pressed all the buttons. Wouldn't that stop the elevator? Can it, Rhonda? <laughs> and I'm done sitting here and waiting around for him. You go, girl. I will go, girl. I don't need no date. Cause I got me You left me at a diner But baby, now I'm free You think you can stand me up You think you can make me wait But I got me, babe So I don't need no <laughs> yay! Oh, yay, you're still here. Angela, I hope that you are prepared for the most extreme... Oh, I'm prepared, Tom. Prepared to leave. <laughs> Angela, wait! Are we changing the location of our talk? Here, she left this for you. Is it a letter explaining why she just walked out the door? It's a bill for all the food she ate while she was waiting for you. Oh, also, she bought food for everyone else in the diner. What? Why would she do that? Hey, that's the jerk from the song! Get him! How did the ask out go? Do the thrusters compensate for the extra rose density? Well, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if Angela never speaks to me again. Ooh. Oh. Okay, Tom, we can still save this extreme ask out. It's gonna be tough, but with one elephant. No, Hank, I'm giving up on extreme ask outs. 
For now, I'm just wandering around town, looking for Angel at all the sad places. Okay, where are you now? I'm at the saddest part of the park where the ducks don't even go, and I don't see her here either. Okay, Tom, here's the plan. We've got to create a grid so that we can match. Hold on, I'll call you back. I'll hold. Wait, if I can get a status... Hi, Angela. Mm -mm, I am not talking to you. I don't blame you. Mm, I can't believe you left me waiting like that. I am so glad you're talking to me again. No, I'm not. Okay. <sighs> Stupid extreme ascot show. I wanted to do it right, but then I lost track of time, and... Uh, I'm sorry. Wow, Tom. Ever since we saw that stupid video of that kiss, it's been making everything weird. I just wish we can go back to the way it was before. When we liked each other, but we never talked about it? Exactly! I know how to do that. It was just so much easier pretending we were just friends. Hmm. You know, there's a carnival in town this Saturday. Now, I'm sure Ben, Hank, and Ginger want to go. Why don't you just come with us? No dating pressure making it weird. Just a group of friends doing something fun together. <laughs> sure, Tom. It's a date. But not a date date. Right. Not a date date. More like a friend event. Yes, a friend event. I think we really figured this one out. Me too, Tom. Are you still watching most extreme romantic ask-outs? Nope. Most embarrassing ask-out flame-outs. Oh, They make a nice... Whoa! Wow! You never think it's your hot air balloon that'll get popped. At least they're together. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. Sup, Angela? <clears throat> Dearest Angela. No. Ooh! Nope, too manly. <laughs> too mouthwashy. Oh, that's because it is mouthwash. <coughs> Hello? Hey, Tom. A uh, quick question. Are we going casual dress or are we going dress to impress? <clears throat> well, I don't know who we'd be trying to impress. This is just a friend event, right? Oh, <laughs> great. That's exactly what I was thinking. Me wearing something formal would be as silly as you giving me flowers. <laughs> <laughs> How crazy would that be? <laughs> <laughs> no romantic tension, no holding hands, and definitely no exchanging candy. Yeah. Sounds like a perfect <clears throat> non-romantic evening. Yep. <laughs> So, uh, pick me up in an hour? No, I will not, because that would be like a date. <laughs> right, buddy? Oh, <laughs> good point, pal. <sighs> hey, Tom, getting ready for your big date with Angela? Uh, 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 it's not a date. Then why do you smell like mouthwash? <laughs> 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 Coaster. Get ready to be hurled through six stories. Six stories of high intensity barf causing thrills. Ride the new Barfa Coaster. Whoa, you know the Barfa Coaster commercial word for word. Yeah. Tonight I face the Barfa Coaster. There will be barf. And that barf will be my barf. Uh, not for me, thank you. But that's okay. We'll just all spit up. <clears throat> I mean, split up. No! Oh, we can't split up. We have to stick together. Because we're friends, and this is a friend event. Okay. I can't go to the carnival. I have an emergency online chat with my long-distance girlfriend, Xenon. She's real. Oh, hi, hi Xenon. Xenon. Cancel this chat, Ben, all right? Tonight is about friends, not girlfriends. Please? We need everybody there to keep this from being... 
romantic. Sorry, guys. Xenon's facing a serious crisis. She's trying to organize her books by usefulness, and as you can imagine, it's gotten pretty overwhelming. That's where Ben comes in. You're going. You can't use a laptop if you don't have a lot. Go on me, you idiot! Huh? Great, now she's frozen. Hello, Xenon. Hello. It's okay, Tom. We can totally still go out on a friend event with just the four of us. Yeah, you are so smart, Angela. Ah, careful with the compliments. <laughs> if you guys keep this up, I'm gonna barf before we get there. Let's go! Ah, do you smell that? Where else are you gonna get the glorious aromas of fried food, a petting zoo, and Tom's mouthwash in one convenient place? Here's the barf. Plan. They shut down the barf coaster early to power wash it because of all the barf. Ooh, we can grab some stomach ammo, which will come up in our barf. Let's start with something a little less night ruining. Oh, look, I bet I can win one of those. Ooh, and then I can carry a prize around and make everyone so jealous. <laughs> you be like you would do on a date? Uh, oh, <laughs> good save, Hank. See, this is why it's great that everyone's here, because friends look out for each other. Okay, let's have some fun friend style. You know, I have to admit, I was a little worried about tonight, but I feel like we're really making this work. Yeah, it's nice being in a big group of friends. Wait a minute, where's Hank? Guys, they have a Bongo and McGillicuddy mallet game. If I hit it hard enough to ring the top bell, Bongo makes lieutenant. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wow, Hank, you're strong. Oh, it's actually more about finding the sweet spot on the ballot. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a natural here. You know, there's a smack off tournament in an hour. No, oh, oh, no, sorry. He's a little preoccupied right now due to a friend event, huh? Yeah, that doesn't sound like a thing. Now, smacking stuff with a mallet, that's a thing. Am I right, folks? <laughs> but I guess someone else will have to take this baby home. <gasps> a Bongo and McGillicuddy trophy? And now I must take my leave of you. You understand. No, 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 you can't do this to us. It's okay. A three-person friend event can still work. <laughs> right, B because it's not two people. Let's hit the barf coaster! Well, I like the idea of barfing, but I don't love the idea of barfing. Sorry, Ginger. Ah, fine, let's just go to the Ferris wheel instead. Wow, this thing looks so exciting. Oh, after you. Thanks, Ginger. Hmm. You are quite the little gentleman. <gasps> hey! Ginger! Ginger! You left me no choice! I gave you every opportunity to barf with me. You brought this on yourself! Ginger! Sorry, not sorry! Come back! Man, you stink at friend events! Stomach ammo! Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get you for this, Ginger! G uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just the two of us now. <laughs> no, not true. As long as I've got my eyes on Ginger, we're technically not alone together. Then get your eyes on Ginger. Ah, uh, got him. He's on the ground. He's running fast. No, don't go behind the tilt-a-whirl. Don't go behind the tilt-a-whirl. No, no. Ah, he went behind the tilt-a-whirl. Uh, it's all right, Tom. We'll just ignore each other for a few loops, and before we know it, this will all... <gasps> Why are we not moving? Child on a thrill ride, repeat, child on a thrill ride. All rides are shut down until further notice. Oh, great. Looks like Ginger finally made it to the Barfa coaster. <laughs> Good for Ginger. Don't panic. Not a problem. Yep, we have a problem. Oh, really? He's unstrapped himself and he's running down the track. Well, it shouldn't take long to catch him. This is gonna take a super long time. Oh, come on! We apologize that our rides are basically no good for the rest of the night. The rest of the night?! <laughs> Hello? Hello? Can anybody? anybody hear us? Oh, two Help! Help! Ugh, it's no use. They can't hear us over the carnival music down there. Oh, and I used to like carnival music. <laughs> <laughs> that 
trophy is mine! This is so much better than barfing! So, the two of us are stuck, alone, together, at the top of a Ferris wheel. No big deal. <laughs> Friends get stuck on rides every day. Right. <laughs> but um, maybe you should stop touching me um with your knee. Uh uh. Oh, <laughs> not a lot of room. Um. <laughs> you know what? Let's play a very innocent, friendly game until they fix this. Um, try to guess what I'm looking at. A uh, view of the town, like you've never seen it before. Lit up under a beautiful starry sky. Oh. Uh. Pretty much. Oh, hey, look, a shooting star. I'm getting down. Angela, what are you doing? Is it my mouthwash? This is too romantically dangerous. So I'm going to crawl down the side of this Ferris wheel. At least that's just regular dangerous. Just to be clear, I'm holding your hand for safety. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, for safety, obviously. Huh. You know, this is actually kind of cool. I mean, uh, I don't know why more uh, people don't exit Ferris wheels this way. Oh, that's why. Uh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, this was such a mistake. No, 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 do not say that. Why, we could not stay up at the top like that. No, Tom. I'm talking about spending the whole night pretending like this wasn't a date. If we had just admitted that we liked each other, we could have stayed up in that gondola. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, it, it wasn't so bad up there. I, uh, I was thinking about holding your hand. I was thinking about holding your hand, too. Oh my gosh, you were? No way! Ah, we both wanted to hold each other's hands. Oh, but let's not do that now, because gravity. Ah, I'm slipping! Ah, Tom! Okay. Before I fall, I wished this was a date all along. I did too, Tom. I did too. Hey! Uh... Well, this is kind of embarrassing. I mean, not if you think about how fast we climb down. I mean, we're, we're pretty agile. <laughs> yeah, I guess we are. Uh, did you mean what you just said, though? About, um... Yeah, Angela. Forget friend events. Oh, Tom! Angela! You gotta hide me! I got a lot of angry carnies after me! I'm sorry, Ginger. We're a little busy right now. We're on a date. <laughs> oh, barf! Not my face! Hey, there he is! <laughs> Get that kid! I don't feel so... Welcome back to Couple Clash, the most romantic show on television. Now it's time for the next round. Brian, your first question. What is your girlfriend Daisy's favorite flower? Um, this is super easy. You got it, babe. Uh, let's see. Uh, a rose? A rose? Brian, my name is Daisy. Wow. Now that is a bad couple. Yeah, it is. I mean, you know my favorite flower, right? What? Oh, um, of course. <laughs> I was gonna say rose? Uh, Tulip. Uh, oh, geranium. Uh, okay, well then what's my favorite flower? That's easy. It's a uh, rose. No. Huh? <gasps> are we a bad couple? I don't know. Far from it. You guys are great. Hank! What are you doing? Oh, just capturing this couple's moment for the web series I do about our exciting lives. Oh, the fans love watching you guys date. We're dealing with a relationship crisis. Wait, the fans love watching us date? Well, sure. Check this trending board. Oh, wow. Tom, we have proof that we're a good couple. Yeah, people from all over the world agree that we're hot. We're the best. That's for sure. Comments from the fans are pouring in. Tom, you're the best. Angela, I love you. Congratulations, you have won a free cruise. Oh, that's not about you. But it's still good news. <laughs> Couple's, Couple's moment! moment. 
couple's couple moment. moment. <laughs> okay, but who goes first? <laughs> Whoa, you two are the top treaders. That's just cause we're totally right for each other. High five. <laughs> <sighs> but what about me? You're hot peppers and I'm just a sick fish. Oh, that's a dead fish. What? He was just resting like that goldfish I got. Sorry, the treading board doesn't lie. Well, I guess fans just love the Tom and Angela relationship story. I've never felt more confident about us. Uh-huh, yep. And I can't think of anything that could possibly change that. Ah! Hey, it's hot! Jeez! Hot! Oh, 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 oh. I never knew a burrito could make me feel this way! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Duty calls. Ben, there's no easy way to put this, but it's my medical opinion you've got... Messed up hands. I'm afraid you won't be able to use them for a week. A week? Oh, oh well, two weeks if you keep doing that. But what about my long distance girlfriend, Xenon? We communicate through the computer and I need my hands for that. Oh, using your hands on a computer could make them super messed up. But this week is our pie anniversary. Three months, one week, four days, one hour, and 59 seconds since our first date. Isn't there something you can do to help me? What's that, nurse, who definitely exists? Oh, that sounds very important. Uh, gotta go. No! Tough break, Ben. But look at the bright side. The fans love your pain. Check out these comments. Ben, I love your pain. Ben, you and Hot Cheese are hilarious. Hurry, your free cruise offer is about to expire. Oh, that guy again. That's weird, because I feel like we're getting better and better as a couple, but it's not being reflected on the trending board. <laughs> Hank's trending machine must be broken. No, my machine is fine. It's just that it's going to be hard for you two guys to trend like Ben. Have you seen his zany shenanigans lately? I just spent three hours trying to floss. <laughs> Great! You're nailing it, bed baby! I'm in agony. Hang on, wait for me! <laughs> we're less interesting to the viewers than burned hands? What does that say about us? I'm sure it's nothing. Just a little rough patch we're going through. We'll be back on top soon. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Xenon is calling! Accept! Accept it! Hi! Ben? Are you there? I'm here! I'm here, my sweet! I bet you're doing the thing where it looks like you're not there, but you're really there, but then you are not there because it's working because I don't see you at all. No! Nothing works! Looks like you could use a helping hand! Or should I say two? I don't need your help! I know you're just trying to move up that stupid trending board. Ben, <gasps> are you ignoring me? I'm not ignoring you. Uh, I guess if you hate me now, just continue to not answer this call. No, no, no. I don't hate you now. Oh, uh, well, I'm going to go now. I guess I'll just spend the rest of the day thinking of things I might have done wrong. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I need your help. <laughs> I will be your hands. <sighs> Oh, you don't hate me. That's neat. Ah, I see. Ginger wave to Xenon. <laughs> oh, what happened? Did you burn your hands on a burrito and now you're using Ginger as your arms? Yes, though. Ginger is also using me. You see, he's piggybacking off of my popularity for the trending board. <laughs> Piggybacker. <laughs> Hank, we're not top trenders anymore. Does that mean we aren't a good couple? Well, the board does indicate that the fire between you has cooled. Well, you're right between microwave popcorn and plain yogurt. <gasps> what happened to us? I don't know, but I'm not giving up on us. If people are losing interest, we're just gonna have to do whatever it takes to get that interest back. You're right, Tom. Let's get out there and trend harder! Rolling and action! Oh, hey viewers, we didn't see you there. We were too busy being such a great couple. We're also a great couple's band, and we're called the perfect pair. You have to be a really good couple to have a couple's band, and we have one. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. It's two strawberries on a vine. It's two bumblebees feeling fine. It's two old shoes making a pair. It's the last slice of pizza that we always share. Don't drop it! Uh, Catch that uh, one! Uh, Don't mess it up! Uh, 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 uh,
Quiet, arms can't talk. Great stuff, Ginger Baby. The viewers are loving you. Ginger is the best. Ben is still totes adorbs. Your free crew's left without you. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Hank, you left us! If you don't show the fans how great our relationship is, then how are we supposed to trend, huh? Sorry, but you gotta give the people what they want. They want us! Don't they? Look, I'm not saying you should break up because you're not trending, but if you want to save your relationship, try to be more like Ben. <gasps> what? Well, Xenon, this was fun. And you know we'll have even more fun tomorrow for our big pie anniversary. <laughs> Arms. <laughs> 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 Disgusting. Angela, if that's what the fans want, I say that's what we give them. Yeah. I am really gonna miss you if this doesn't work. <laughs> beautiful. Just beautiful. Aw, oh, isn't it? I marked every radiant with a different shade like you like. Oh, Zini. In the equation that is our lives, when I solve for X, I only see you. <laughs> Oh, not gross, <laughs> Arms. I'm being smooth. Hello, everyone. How is it going? Still trending higher than Angela and me? That's cool. Excuse me, this is a private date? Yeah, a private date for Ben's pie anniversary. Well, we're having a pie anniversary, too. The anniversary of when we had pie. That's not what a pie anniversary is. Ours is. Yeah. <laughs> Why are Tom and Angela acting so weird? Uh, Tom, could you get me a pie anniversary slice of the sliced anniversary pie? Of course, Angela. I'll just use both of my hands. Ah, pie, hot, hands burn. Oh, ah, no, ah, I ah, said. That's clearly an ice cream pie, Tom. Oh. Ah, that pie was so cold, I froze my hands. Oh, no, ah, again. Ah, ben, ah. I'm confused. Was the pie hot or cold? Don't worry, Tom. I will be your hands. Wow. Hey, I see what's going on. You guys are stealing my idea to get to the top of the trending board. Ow, ow, that ow, is ow, ow, hey, ow, ow, not in the face. You guys are idea stealers. Idea stealers? Ah, that is a dirty lie. Ow, no. I am <laughs> sorry it came to this, but I am trying to save my relationship by ruining mine. Nobody's ruining anything. Wow, hey. Oh. Oh. Uh, it's okay, guys. I don't think that the pie actually got into. Ah! No, Zenon! I think we got a little carried away with the trending back there. Uh, we should have known the trending board doesn't tell you about your relationship. It just tells you that you're trending. I mean, it is in the name, yeah. Hmm. Tom, we worked so hard to show that we have a good relationship because we have a good relationship. Oh, and my favorite flower is a sunflower. Wow. <laughs> ben, I'm so sorry. I can't believe we let our insecurities ruin your weird pie thing with Xeon. It's okay, guys. You just don't know how to date yet, so you look to a much stronger couple for inspiration. Wait, you're not a stronger couple than us. If anything, we're a stronger couple than you. Oh, please. You are nothing compared to the power couple that is known as Z-Ben or Benzanon. We're not sure yet. We're working on it. We got both URLs. You're never even in the same room. Surprised? Guys, I couldn't stop him. He used his game show host, Foo. That's right. I was riveted by the relationship drama on Hank's web series, and I want you to be contestants on the very next episode of Couple Clash. <gasps> we'll we'll do, do it! Tom, Angela, Ben, Xenon, let's get clashing. Previously on Talking Tom and Friends, Tom and Angela, finally confident they're a good couple. We have proof that we're a good couple. We're the best. We're totally right for each other. Couple moment! But that confidence is rattled when a burrito-related injury launches Ben and Xenon to the top spot. Oh, hands hot! Jeez, hot! We're less interesting to the viewers than right. burnt hands? And it's going to be hard for you two guys to trend like Ben. We'll be back on top soon. In order to determine which is the best couple once and for all, I, the host of Couple Clash, invited them to compete on Couple Clash. We said we'd do this show. Look, are you going to be here all night? Will I or won't I? Find out right after this theme song. Ah! Oh. Whoa. <laughs> 
What is Ben's favorite film? Oh, that's easy. Science the movie. Right again. <laughs> oh, Zini. At this rate, we're sure to be time. Tom and Angela, all the way. Ben and Xenon, S T I N K. Woohoo! What the hell? <gasps> ben, you are not going to like this. <laughs> <laughs> Will you two be quiet? We're trying to study for the show tomorrow. So are we. We're practicing our victory cheer for when we annihilate you guys. Annihilate us? <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> Next question, Hank. Okie dokie. Uh, what size shoe does Zedad wear? Simple. Her left is a wide seven, her right is a standard eight. <laughs> guys, being a good couple isn't about knowing a bunch of weird, boring facts about each other. It's about having a strong personal connection. <laughs> What are you talking about? Angela and I are so connected, we finish each other's... Tom's right. Huh. Xenon and I have an excellent connection. An excellent internet connection, maybe. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Next question, Hank! I've got one for you. What does Xenon's hair smell like on a warm summer day? That's a ridiculous question. Huh. Not if you know the answer. Angela's hair smells like strawberries on a warm summer day. I know that because I can actually smell her. Aww. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ben, he can smell me because I'm real. Uh, I'm real. I'm just not in the same location as you, okay? We'll see about that. Anyway, sounds like the two of you have a lot of work to do. Come on, Angela. Let's go actually hold hands. Mm. What's wrong, Benny? Your emoji use is down 23%. I guess I'm just thinking about Tom and Angela's personal connection. You saw the popcorn thing, right? But there's more to a good relationship than neat old popcorn tricks. Maybe. But what if they ask us something we can't answer because we're never in the same place? Well, what can we do? There's no way to know all the questions. Hmm. Wait a minute. Keyboard. Shield your eyes, baby. I have a bright idea. Welcome to Couple Clash, the show that tells you which couple is the good couple and which couple will break up, break up, break up, break up. Oh, this is so exciting. We'll finally find out who's a better couple. I don't even care. I just like that the audience gets to yell. Hmm, hey. How come you're not in a couple? Oh, I am. I have the TV. It's educational, it's entertaining, and it's always there for me. Babe? What's wrong? <gasps> no! Babe! Please! Code Blue! Uh, give me a cable, guys! Stop! Tom, Angela, Ben, Xenon, let's get clashy. Hey, you look pretty relaxed for someone who's about to get crushed by a better couple. And the better couple is us! Oh, really? Bad couples is what? What? Yeah. <laughs> Hear that, Zena? They just admitted they're a bad couple. Well, at least they got one question right. <laughs> Ooh, sick burns, everyone. Now it's time to start Couple Clash. <laughs> First question, if your significant other was a flavor of... Strawberry Frosty. Correct. Huh? If you could name... Pink, pink Hummingbird Wings. Wow, you guys are a good couple. Forest Green. Correct. Kyoto Japan. Correct. Pato Ring. Correct. The exact moment a cucumber becomes a pickle. Correct. How are they doing this? Said the bad couple. We're not a bad couple. I'm sorry that's incorrect. Babe, after all we've been through, don't quit on me. Come on, don't quit on us. Hooray! We're missing Couple Clash. Did she even check if it's plugged in? Ginger, please. I think I know my OTV. I need you to work with me here, baby. Ah! Ow! How could you? Welcome back to Couple Clash. How are we feeling about our first place couple, Ben and Zeno? And what about Tom and Angela? That's not fair! We shouldn't break up just because Tom missed a few questions. Hey, it's not just my fault. I thought we were losing, you know, as a couple. We are because you're so slow on the buzzer. 
All right. Watch this. Next question. On a boating trip, your significant hey, other... <laughs> Sorry, you can't just yell out random words. The correct answer was... The three-cornered hat! Correct. Nice going, Tom. You know what? Maybe this chanting mob is right. A good couple wouldn't lose to Ben and a computer. Excuse me, one more time. I am a real person. Fine. Then maybe we should listen to them and break up. Fine. Break up. Fine. Break up. Fine. Oh, we have a breakup. Congratulations, Ben and Gina. How does it feel to be this week's winner of Couple Clash? What have we done? It's all our fault. I've never seen Tom and Angela so miserable. I think the worst part is that Tom and Angela are broken up. <sighs> we oh, have, have to, to tell, tell the, the truth. truth. I know, it's tough. I just got out of a relationship myself. It hurts, but we move on. You just need to get your mind off TV. Just a loose cable. My darling! Uh, I missed you so much. I know I said I was over you, but I wasn't. I can't quit you. <sighs> Who ate all my ice cream? Oh, right. <laughs> Guess I'm sadder than I thought. Oh. What now? Hmm. The diner? Rhonda, your text said you were offering free ice cream to sad people? Ah, got your text, Rhonda. Huh? Ah! Oh. Uh, what's going on here? I'll tell you what's going on here. I just made 20 bucks. Ben? ben? Internet connection of Xenon? Great, so there's no ice cream? Well, in a way, your ice cream is the truth. Sorry for the deception. It was necessary to lure you both here together. Ben and I, uh... Oh. Um. We cheated on Couple Clash! <gasps> what? You did what? Yes. We did what? We were worried you guys had an advantage over us. So Ben hacked the show's question database. It's true! We memorized all 27,352 possible answers. That's how we were able to buzz so quickly every time. <laughs> Wait, you and Xenon know 27,000 things about each other? That's so many things. Wow. You guys really are better than us. Great, you're the perfect couple. No, we were intimidated by you. Always holding hands, always smelling each other. You're the perfect couple. No, you're the perfect couple. You are the perfect couple. You're the perfect couple. You're the perfect couple. You guys are the perfect couple. I know Stop it, guys. What if we're both perfect couples? Wow. Oh, that's deep. Does this mean you two can get back together? Because we feel really guilty about this. I don't know, Ben. You may have just broken us up forever and ever. No! Come on, please! Huh? That's what happens when you cheat. Oh, there must be something we can do to make you change your mind. Hmm. We'll organize the best double date ever. Mm. Laser tag! Well, well... And a movie marathon! And all the popcorn you can eat! Deal! Deal. <laughs> Two couples united by a game show designed to break couples apart. So, was the game show a total failure? Was this strange turn of events my plan the entire time? Sadly, no. Either way, I guarantee this couple of couples will not be invited back to Couple Clash. These elevator levitating boots are amazing. Why haven't we released them to the public yet? Ah! Ah! 
Well, that would be one reason to remove! Oh, uh, Get me oh, down! Uh, I got it. Yeah. Ah! Watch out for my precious head! Uh. Oh. Hey, Ben! Ah! Ben? <laughs> it's the Z. Yo. Hi, friends, and by friends, I mean customers. Yeah. Take a look at my new Super Spy Sound Recording Device. Super Spy Sound Recording Device. You're gonna find out what this bargain baby is perfect if you wanna say, I don't know, spy on a yeah. small garage based tech company. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay, I got it now. Ah. Oh. Ow. Ah. Oh. Ben, wake up. You've got to wake up, buddy. Oh, what happened? Who, who are you? Oh, no. I am Hank. This is Ginger. And this is Tom. Tom, what happened to me? I definitely did not drop you on your head, that's for sure. Wait, it's all coming back. Yes, I remember everything. You did drop me on my head. Thank goodness. Thank goodness I dropped you? Okay, guys, he's still out of it. If you like it that much, you could try again. No, go Give me oh. that. I meant, thank goodness, I remember what's up here. Imagine if the contents of my brain were lost forever. A disaster. That's it. I need a backup system. Someone to pass all my data on to. A protege. Well, how about me, since I'm standing right next to you? Oop, let me make room for new stuff. <clears throat> Ow. Actually, my protege should be someone younger, impressionable. Aww. Someone like, say, Ginger? Huh? You want to teach me science stuff? No offense, Ben, but science is ick. Am I to take that as a yes? Super spy sound recording device. Going to find out what they're up to. Piston, turn the volume down on the spying device. They're going to know we're here. Well. The CEO's spying on us again. So? All he knows is I'd rather eat lava than be Ben's protege helper. Fine, Ginger. I don't need you. I'll just go to your school, and scads of eager students will line up to be my protege. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> well, this is a predictable, embarrassing disappointment. I'll just gather up my Erlenmeyer flasks and my graduated cylinders and be on my way, I suppose. Hello? Huh? Am I late? What? Darren? Hello? You're a loser. Everyone knows I'm going to win. I'm Darren. I'm unstoppable. I'm the best. Get lost before I give my honest opinion of you, which is that you're bratty, obnoxious, and mean. Oh, smart kids are so often misunderstood. Oh, well. As they say in Latin, ingenia male sape movant. Misfortune sharpens the genius. Hmm. As a child genius, I too was misunderstood. Maybe because I was always speaking Latin. <laughs> too funny. <laughs> Darren, maybe I misjudged you. Come on, Tom. Let me put those babies on and ride the sky. Uh, 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 uh. There's only one pair of elevators. We can't afford to have you break our most fashionable invention yet. Everyone, uh -oh. I'm pleased to announce I have found my protege. Hello, Paul. What? Come on, you chose Darren. He's a mean, spoiled, braggy cheater face. Fair point, and I really want to apologize to everyone. Thomas, can I call you Thomas? You seem so much more sophisticated than a Tom. Ha 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 yes, yes, of course, my good man. Whoa, Thomas is sophisticated. Tom, this is Darren. He is lying. No, 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 no. I'm a different person now. Maybe because I watched the Be Nice or Get Off the World episode of Alpha Squadron Explosion Go. Wow, that episode changed me too. I was a person who hadn't seen it, and then I saw it, and then I was a person who had seen it. Freaky. Or maybe it was listening to my favorite song, What's Not to Love. <gasps> 
that's my song. I know. I wanted to compliment you. I just wasn't sure if I could talk to such an amazing talent directly. No, go ahead. Please, go ahead. Whatever it is that changed me, I've dedicated my life to knowledge. And I want to learn from the smartest guy in the world. <laughs> He's talking about me. See? Smartest man in the world. <laughs> Come on, he's just acting like you guys are great to get what you want! Oh, you don't think we're great? Ugh, I don't do compliments. Ginger, it's obvious that you're jealous of my protege. Don't be. He's going to be a fantastic addition to our merry band. <laughs> Well, the moment we've all been waiting for is here. The elevators are now ready. Thanks to the help of my protege, Darren. Aloha. Ooh, or maybe, ah, I can't choose. They're both so appropriate. Wait, you let him wear the floaty boots? But he's only been here a day. Ginger, it's not how long you've known someone. It's how well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so true. true. Ugh, you know, you guys, we have having much fun together since somebody got here. So I got us five tickets for tonight's Cyborg Extravaganza. Yay! Hooray! Uh-oh. Do the math. Don't change her. Five tickets? There are six of us. Oh, right. Darren. Hey, sorry, buddy. We'll miss you. Ginger, we can't leave Darren out of a big friend's trip. Sure you can. Here, I'll show you. Guys, it was going to be a surprise, but I have six tickets for tonight's Cyborg Stunt-tacular. The best giant robot fight in town. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Five tickets. There's six of us. No wonder he's not the protege. Maybe we should choose him over you. He's nice and helpful, and he wants to learn everything you are not. Fine. If that's how it's gonna be, I'm out of here. Are we okay with Ginger leaving? Well, he was being a brat. Look what he did to the elevators! Don't worry about it, Min. You go without me. I'll stay behind and fix the boots. But, but, but... But for sitting at the cyborg stuntacular, I'll hear no more of it. Besides, I can use all the amazing things you've taught me. Wow, you're the best protege a genius scientist could hope for. I was wrong about you, just like Ginger's wrong about you now. <laughs> Ooh, of all the giant robot fights I've never seen, that was by far the best. It's too bad Darren couldn't be there. He would have loved it. As much as I'm going to love the repairs he made to those elevators. Huh. Darren? Where is Darren? And where are the elevators? Well, they're not in your work area where you left them. They're not in the fridge where I sometimes leave things. Hey, my hiking boots! They're not in the bathroom. Mm. It's not like the Darren I know so well to be careless with cutting-edge technology. Yeah, that's the sort of thing Ginger would do. Ah! <gasps> Ginger. Phone! Dial Ginger! Hey, guys. I bet you're calling to apologize for being mean to me. I forgive you. Where are I my forget... elevators? How should I know? Maybe stupid Darren took them. Oh, ho, ho, that's nice. You steal my boots and then accuse my innocent new friend of something you clearly did. Seriously, I was in my backyard digging a hole. Well, you're going to have plenty of time for hole digging now because you won't be coming over here anymore. But... Good day! <laughs> Wow, Ginger works fast. He already put the elevators on TV. He put the what on the what? Hello, consumer friends. Welcome to a live demonstration of my newest invention, elevator boots. Of course, I didn't invent them all by myself. I also got to thank my nephew, Darren. Aloha. What? You're welcome, Uncle C. My protege is the CEO's nephew? Yep. He's my nephew. Darren tricked us all. No, he tricked me. <laughs> I can't let this happen. <laughs> this is a real game changer. All thanks to my great genius. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> Good. My tablet still controls the thing. <laughs> Go, me. Elevator oh, yeah. going down. Naughty. Naughty. And now to teach Darren a lesson. <laughs> Stupid unworking boot! 
Hey, turn that camera off! Ben, you just showed the CEO that he shouldn't mess with us. Again. That may be. But I also let Darren wheedle his way into our lives because I was so eager to have a protege. And don't forget, you also ruined your friendship with Ginger. Hank, no! That's one of those sad things you don't say out loud because it hurts too much to hear. Oh, right. Sorry, Ben. Not that stuff I said. Actually, I'm not good. And I won't be good until I earn Ginger's friendship back. And only when I do will I consider myself good. So, I'll just sit here waiting for that to happen. In limbo! Somewhere between good and evil! Oh, that's a relief. I'd hate to go out on a sad note. Hey, Ginger! It's me again. Mm. <laughs> Call us back, okay? Buddy? <sighs> he still won't answer, huh? I guess I can't blame him. What we did was pretty awful. Uh -oh. I have found my protege! Hello! Oh, come on! You chose Garrett! He's nice and helpful and he wants to learn I'm everything sorry. you are not. Fine! Is that so it's gonna be about here? No wonder he's not the protege. Just awful. Well, take heart. The I'm sorry for choosing Darren as a friend over you custom hoverboard is almost finished. It has double racing stripes, chrome stabilization fins, and I customized the motor. Listen. And as the piece de resistance, I want to get the board sign by the coolest person. The ginger now! Well, I'm flattered, but I'm not sure I have an autograph pen handy. How did this get here? <laughs> Before you embarrass yourself further, I was talking about your friend, Will Z. I'm called Will Z. Uh... I knew that. Will Z is the most amazingly cool person in the known universe. Well, you know how to reach him, right? Uh, of course. Cool guys like me and Will Z, we always stay in touch. We're sorry. Will Z is too cool for phones and no longer uses them. Yeah, you know, I thought he might be too cool for phones, because, I mean, a lot of us are, myself included. <laughs> phones. But how will I get my hoverboard signed? Problemo zero, Ben. There's more than one way us cool people can. <laughs> Okay, we've tried 56 different ways to contact Will Z. We're just gonna have to go big. So I've combined our best ideas and we're going to reach out on FastaFit. The coolest social media platform. And we're gonna send the sound of dolphins. The coolest babbles. Over a clip of a dune buggy. The coolest open top sand vehicle. <laughs> and if this doesn't work, guys, I don't know what we're gonna do. It has to, Tom, for Ginger. For Ginger. Here we go. <laughs> Didn't work. What? Uh, it has to. I'm sorry. What's that music? Maybe it's the cool ice cream truck. That's no cool ice cream truck. I told you it would work. Look, that's the coolest entrance I've ever seen. And he's defying gravity. Gravity, you just got served. I love you. Tachi, bumblebees, hit the green. Whoa. If I'm not mistaken, that's the language of coolness. I can't speak it, but I can read it a little. Huh? Ginger, come in, come in. I'm not allowed, remember? You said this place is for friends only. <sighs> <gasps> Will Z! 
Hot potato, butterfly, round the corner. Watch out! Ginger, I should never have chosen the evil, rotten, no good Darren over you. Please accept this Willsy autographed hoverboard as my apology. Wow! Apology accepted! Well, he hasn't signed it yet. Oh, apology not yet accepted! Willsy, could you sign this apology hoverboard for Ginger? Banana kick flip. Fizz to the buzz. Ha 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 ha, yeah! That means yes, right? <laughs> wow, I've heard about the ink of bodily coolness, but I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. <laughs> wow, this is the best apology gift ever. Thank you, Wilsey! You're welcome, Ginger. This autograph is so cool. Woo! Hey! Oh, well, that's a trap, boar heart wiggle. What? Hey, something's wrong with Will Z. I'm sorry, Will. They're having a hard time making out what you're saying. No Xanto, Brocando? Huh? Easy? Don't worry, man. We're gonna call the best doctor we know. Oh, oh that's interesting. Oh, my. Oh. Ah, it's now perfectly clear to me. Give it to me straight, doctor. What is it? Examining people through a computer screen is very difficult. Okay, but what is wrong with Will Z? Oh, that. I'm afraid he has an extreme case of extreme coolness. Oh, no! But easy? Can you help him? No, no, no. You'll have to consult a physicist, the coolest of all scientists. Do you know a physicist? Unfortunately, I don't. Flip nuts. Please, we'll pay anything. Oh, uh, now that I think about it, I do. Uh, hold on while I transfer you. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh. Uh, just a moment. Your call's very important to us. Hey, man, I'm like Dr. Internet Physicist. Wait a minute. Are you sure you're not just Dr. Internet Doctor wearing a different hat? Ooh, cool theory, bro. I've never seen such an extreme case of extreme coolness. It's like his inner nerd is totally gone. What's an inner nerd? How would I know? We all have an inner nerd hidden away deep inside. If you lose your inner nerd, a vortex will open up and suck you into the coolverse forever. Oh, like the one on our ceiling right now? <gasps> oh, no. <gasps> Stucky trips it. What do we do, Dr. Internet Physicist? Uh, how should I know? Um... Do you try using your inner nerd to wake up his inner nerd? No! But gotcha! Oh, you better hurry! Will Z has become too cool. It's up to us to nerd him up. But luckily, we have someone who may be as nerdy as Will Z <laughs> is cool. Huh? Mm -hmm. Why are you guys looking at me? Oh, you all think I'm a nerd? Well, well it's just fiddle faddle. <laughs> See? Would a nerd say fiddle faddle? Yep. It's in the nerd handbook. Oh, really? Well, would a nerd recite pi to the 50th digit while Irish step dancing? 3.141592653589. Yep, Irish step dancing and reciting pi, page 37. Well, do you feel any nerdier? Stucky trips it. All right, guys, don't pet. We need to go full nerd. Hank, what do you got? Nerd glasses. Perfect. Quick, put them on Will Z. Snickle. No! Turns! He's still extremely cool! I have something I should probably show you! on Ginger's hoverboard. And I won't be able to ride it without being sad about him. I'll bet he's the coolest guy in the whole Coolverse. You know, you guys only knew him as Cool Will Z, but he was just as fun to be around when he was Little Willie. That's how I'll always remember him. 
I remember our first year at camp. Everyone left to go banana boating, but not us. And we spent the day in our cabins singing the Pajama Pals theme song. <gasps> Pajama Pals? Why didn't you mention that before? Because it's stupid. I forgot about it. <gasps> Both of you so out of touch with your inner nerds. Well, okay, I guess so, but... You know, that day in the cabin singing the Pajama Pal song wasn't cool or uncool, it was just fun. Well, maybe you could sing your song now. This is for you, Willie, wherever you are. He's in the cool verse, remember? It's true of all the boys and gals, from Jens and Neds to Megs and Hows. You won't find a better friend than you find in Pajama Pals, Pajama Pals. Pajama, 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 Jama Pals. Pajama, 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 Jama Pals. Pajama, Pajama, Pajama Pals. Wow! How'd you make it back? Well, when I heard you singing from the cool verse, I just had to join in. And when I did, they immediately kicked me out and sent me right back here. Wow, Tom, your inner nerd was so uncool, it almost destroyed the cool verse. Yeah, good thing I remember that one time I was nerdy. Or, you know, I could have ended up in the cool verse next, you know? Whatever you say, pajama pal. Hit it, Angela! If you dug through the world, Yo, lady, oh! And you got all money. Yo, lady, yo. I hold you up and clothe you. Yo, lady, yo, yo. Cause I'm your buddy. Pajama pal. We're here at the Tom and Ben indoor track with Scooter Superstar, Angela. And rookie sensation Ginger. Tom, this kid is an up and comer who does need the shot on that scooter. Talking about Angela, Ginger. Aww. Can she break the course record? Well, Tom, I think I'll let my new scooter answer that question. <laughs> She's headed for Ben's desk. This could spell computer-breaking disaster. <laughs> ah, my concentration marble! <laughs> Angela, what are you doing riding that thing in here anyway? She's breaking the course record! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop! My unexpected consequences, marble! Got it. <laughs> wow! You fool! That's my giant explosion, Marble! Uh oh Duck and cover! <laughs> Just kidding. This is actually my gotcha, Marble. Gotcha. Ah. Where did you get this instrument of desk destruction anyway? Oh, I sold one of Angela's songs. Hmm. Yeah, I'm her manager now. My songs are paying for my high-octane lifestyle. Look, Angela's song is already on TV. <gasps> my song's on TV! We can guess, we can guess, everybody yes. Tell me about this! Oh! I didn't know! Yes. Wow, I'm an even better manager than I thought. Who bought the song? Well, you know, when you're a successful manager like me, you don't focus on every little detail. Hello, I'm the CEO. Ah! For too long, people in this city have been struggling with something. And that something is... Problems. That is so true. Wait, why did that just go from my song to the CEO talking? Problems with traffic. Hmm. Problems with dirt. And worst of all, ho oh, ho, problems with small garage-based app companies. Hey, you guys have a small garage-based app company. Someone has got to do something about all these problems, which is why I am running for mayor. <gasps> oh, no. Can we make this town problem-free? Let's ask local pop star and singer of my official campaign song, Angela. <laughs> You sold my song to the CEO? Okay, that's bad, but it's gonna be fine. Whoa! It's the election for mayor, so no big deal, right? I mean, no one will even notice. 
Okay. <laughs> Lesson learned. From here on in, I promise never to sell any of your songs to any of our enemies ever again. You better get my song back from the CEO or you're fired! And that's gonna make things very awkward between us. Hmm. <sighs> Ginger, you don't seem your normal perky yet devious self. All I want is to have a turn on the scooter and endanger myself and others. But you guys won't let me. Well, I think I have something that'll cheer you right up. Ta-da! Uh -huh. That's just a regular bike. Doesn't even have a motor. <laughs> no motor, he says. Are you doing that? Why don't you ask these Bongo and McGillicuddy trading cards? Wow! This'll do for now. Thank you for calling the CEO's campaign headquarters. Listen, you. You never told me you were you when you bought Angela's song, you. Your call is very important, dude. Uh, so please. A recording? Huh? I tricked I tricked you. Uh, I'm not a recording at all. Listen, I need to buy back that song. Now, I already spent the money, but I can offer you scooter rides. Are you free on Saturday? Interesting offer. How about instead, uh, I don't know, I use your girlfriend's song to help me become mayor and destroy your business. <laughs> no deal. I don't give up that easy. If the CEO won't give the song back, then it's time for plan B, which is to ask Ben, because I've got nothing. What do you want, Tom? Kind of busy doing disappointment wheelies. Well, Ben and I solved your problem. Really, just Ben. We can't make the CEO not have your song, but we can make people not hear it. Here's our plan. My plan. Ew! What is that awful noise? Sing your song and you'll find out. What? Okay. You can yes, we can yes, everybody yes. Yes, we can yes, everybody yes. Yes, everybody, yes, yes. Whoa. I composed the exact opposite of your song. When it is played at the same time as the original, the song and the anti-song cancel each other out. So we have to go to every one of his rallies and do this? Not if I can access his original copy and merge it with my anti-song, destroying both files forever. You see, Angela, it's yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, Ben, I know how songs work. Let's do this. Angela approved? That's not even my thumb! Don't you worry. We're gonna get this guy. Here, wear these so we blend in. Tent without being seen, I propose that we map her out. Hey, everyone! Free flags way over there! Okay, now all I have to do is find the Wi Fi. Speaker wire? They couldn't spring for Wi Fi? Oh, yes, thank you, voters. Yes, yes, it's really me. Yes. Now, who here is ready for the CEO for Mayor problem solving cheer? What are we gonna solve? Problems! What are we tired of? Problems! What do local garage-based app companies cause? Problems! Now, let's listen to a song that captures the can-do attitude of our problem-crushing campaign. He's about to play my song to this enormous cheering crowd, which is terrible. It's the best worst problem I've ever had. Oh, that made a good song. I need more time. Stall. Operation Scoot Storm is a go. Over. Copy that, Trader Joe. Hey, I never agreed to that nickname. Roger that, <laughs> Trader Joe. <sighs> huh? <laughs> wow, what a great thing to happen at my rally. Let's hear it for the surprise Viking boy. You're doing it, guys. You're distracting him. Nailed it. Hey, let's switch rides. No, Ginger, you're too young. Oh, come on. No fair. I want to turn. Hey. Okay, that's enough. You were fun, but now you're a problem. And you know my position on problems. Now, where were we? 
Ben, hurry up! They're about to play my song! This is impossible! What kind of a maniac uses uncolor-coded wires? I can find it. It's my song. All right! My official campaign song! Let's hear it for Angela! There's no conceivable way being the writer of the song will help you know which wire It's this one! I can feel the rhythm! What was that? <gasps> you! Security! Get on! Ginger! Wait, where's Hank? Maybe don't worry about that so much! Let's ride! Hey, so much for the CEO's campaign song, huh, Angela? Am I still your manager? Sure, Tom! But in the future, try to find out who's buying the song before you sell it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> How did you get here before we did? Well, I have a helicopter. <laughs> Look here, CEO. I know you're here to beg for that song back, but it's gone. Poof, forever. <laughs> That's not why I'm here. I'm checking out the future site of the town's new toilet store. People <sighs> say we don't need another toilet store, but I think I can make it happen when I'm mayor. What are you talking about? We destroyed your song and messed up your rally. Ah, who cares? No one's even running against me. Probably because they're all so scared of my success. I'm going to be mayor. And on day one, I'm going to put Tom and Ben Enterprises out of business forever. <laughs> well, you can't do that. Oh, you don't say. I can, yes. I can, yes. Something, something, yes, yes. Tom, he's shaking his butt and messing up the lyrics. What are we supposed to do now? <sighs> the only thing left to do. We beat the CEO in the election. That's right, I'll run for mayor. And I'll win. The CEO might have fans and supporters and power, but I've got... Hey, wait, are you even listening? <laughs> no, why would I? Helicopter away! <laughs> I know you can't hear me over that helicopter, but this isn't over! Previously, Angela got a scooter and she wasn't gonna let me ride it, but I was determined to find a way. Ginger, you can't just say what happened to you. I know! The CEO started running for mayor and threatened to shut down the garage. So Tom had to run for mayor too in order back to the important stuff. Eventually I got to ride Angela's scooter. Go, Ginger! Ah. Doing? I give up. I can't beat the CEO. If I put up a poster, he puts up a laser billboard. If I find a baby, he's already kissed it, burped it, and sung it a lullaby the entire time. So you're packing up the garage to make him think we moved to the center of the earth. <laughs> no, I'm packing up for when he becomes mayor and kicks us out of here. Come on, don't be so dramatic. Oh, I'm glad Tom's running against me. Huh? That way, when I beat him, destroying his company will be even more fun. <laughs> oh. I'd say my greatest weakness is that I have no weaknesses. Wow, I'm on so many channels. Uh, sounds like it's time to start playing dirty. No, we cannot sink to the CEO's level. You're absolutely right. My class voted me line leader three weeks in a row. I can make things happen. Call me. Hold on to your socks, everyone. I'm about to knock those socks off with a secret strategy to make Tom mayor. I've isolated the four secret elements that guarantee a win. Hard work. Charm, big ideas, and honesty. Have more of these than your opponent, and you can beat anyone. Yeah, I can show everyone that I'm a hard worker right after someone else unpacks these boxes. Mm. Excuse me, sir! I see you're doing some hard work, and as a candidate for mayor, I'd like to help you. Ha, hoo, ta, hi ya! Uh huh. CEO in the house. Make way. Oh, my piles! Oh, did I blow them away? Oops, these jetpacks will do that sometimes. Hey, Tom was showing everyone what a hard worker he is. And he has a secret system now to beat you in this election. Look at that. Uh, there are four categories in the secret system. And the first one is hard work. Wait, no, no, and no, then... But... 
Uh, I'm not telling you what they are because they are secrets. Uh, hard work? Nobody cares about hard work, right? No, hold on. I, I, I was kidding. Uh, I'm the best at hard work. Uh, what's this? I'll just pull this weed out of the ground. Uh, Got to warm up. <laughs> and, uh... Couldn't even do it. Remember when Tom made all those nice meat piles? No fair. I normally pay people to de-weed my earth. Well, you got one. Next up, charm. Hey, citizen. Huh? Nice hat you got there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. This next category is easy. Nobody has more big ideas than me. Top. Did you hire a plumber that looks like the CEO with a fake mustache <laughs> to come over and take pictures of Ben's secret strategy? What? No. No. Okay, so the CEO might now know your secret strategy, but he fixed the toilet. Flushes like a dream. <laughs> <sighs> hey, guys, uh, we may have a problem. <gasps> Jetpack ahoy. Make way, make way. Uh, gather around, citizens. I've got some big ideas to share with you. I said gather around. When people would say there's no room for more water slides, I say there's plenty of room. Where? Underground. Oh, no. That lout stole my secret strategy. It's OK. We can still win honesty. Yeah, you're way more honest than the CEO. Everyone knows that. Tom, <gasps> is he really honest? Is his business partner Ben an inventor or a mad scientist? Hey, I'm very rigorous about my scientific ethics. His girlfriend Angela wants to be a famous singer, but here she is riding on a scooter. Are you a singer or a scooter rider? <sighs> I'm both. I can be both. Hank and Ginger, they've sure spent a lot of time with Tom. What are they hiding? <gasps> what am I hiding? Tom, I just don't trust him. Do you? Oh, this is such an obvious dirty trick. There's no way it's going to work. Uh, it worked. What? Looks like the CEO is going to win after all. Not necessarily. It just means it's all going to come down to the big night. It's all going to come down to the big night. It's the live on TV Mayor Factor competition. Tune in. It's your civic duty. Yes, TV. That's exactly what I was talking about. The CEO won't get away with this. So, you finally decided to come to me. I had no choice. The CEO, he's a cheater. But I'm starting to think that I should cheat too. You know about dirty tricks, right? No, I absolutely do not. I have to win the election. So even if you have to, you know, sabotage him or play dirty or... Bum, bum, bum. Say no more. This meeting never happened. Democracy, y'all! Time to find out who's got that mayor factor. I'm so excited it makes me want to move. Listen, Tom, no matter what happens tonight, I want you to know that... Don't worry. I'll get this guy. That's not what I was gonna say. Oh. Wait, you aren't planning to play a dirty trick, are you? No, of course not. Hmm. G -g 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 Give it up for your candidate! <laughs> yes, yes, thank you, thank you. I can't believe you're still trying to beat me. <laughs> I still got a few tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> Tonight, you will pick the mayor by texting in your phone. Now, as you can see from our vote graph, the CEO has more support than Tom. But can he keep it? Does he have the <laughs> Challenge number one. As mayor, you have to juggle lots of problems. So let's see how well you can juggle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, democracy. <laughs> Fumble! Oh, Not very barely. Challenge number two. The mayor is the top of the town. So let's see who can be the first to get to the top of this ball! Okay, let's do this. Burn, CEO! 
Challenge number three. <laughs> Whoever becomes the mayor will have to balance the town budget. So let's see who can grab more cash in the money monsoon. This money is bomb! <laughs> oh, you are helping Tom cheat! Sorry, Angela! We're the big leagues now! Ah, yeah! Wow, Tom! You're winning over the crowd! You know, I want to thank everyone who text voted for me, but I wouldn't be here without the support of my wonderful girlfriend, Angela. Come on up here, Angela. Uh -huh. oh. mm. What? Hey, I can exp... Angela? Actually, I have to admit something. This whole night, I have been cheating. <laughs> you blew it, Tom! Right at the end, too! <laughs> I know. When I started this campaign, my girlfriend said I shouldn't try to win with dirty tricks. And you know what? She's right. If I can't beat the CEO honestly, then I don't deserve to beat him at all. I'd rather lose this election than lose the trust of the people who are important to me. So, I'm sorry that I let you down, but being honest is more important than winning. Actually, Tom's last-minute speech. Maybe that means people actually like integrity, admitting what you're wrong, being a good dude. Mm, I think it was my thing. Soon, my plan to become mayor and destroy Tom and Ben Enterprises will be complete. <laughs> um, Uncle, don't you remember what just happened? Tom had a secret system to become mayor, but when it was stolen by you, it all came down to the mayor factor competition, and you did not win Tom one. I know, but it's not fair! I want to be mayor! Ow! Now my kicking leg hurts! This is the worst day of my whole life! <laughs> for it to cool down. Sir, I'm gonna need you to eat that soup. Shh. All clear! Thanks, Ginger. I don't really need security. But check that guy over there. I'm on it! Now, let's get down to business. Bob, Bob, Bob. Way ahead of you. We have to decide when I'm supposed to wear my mayor sash and when I should probably wear my mayor button. That's not what I meant by business. I'm talking about the minor civic infrastructure issues that urgently need to be dealt with. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, I don't know what those words mean, but I do know that being mayor is about wearing sashes, cutting ribbons, and making sure everyone is happy, which they are. I'm not happy, Mr. Mayor. I'm tired, my shows weren't on last night, and earlier today I stepped on a bee. Sounds like a job for Mayor Tom. 
Let's see that foot. Tom, mm. no! Rhonda's complaints and feet have nothing to do with the mayor's responsibilities. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Besides, no one is really happy. I mean, Joe the dishwasher has a hangnail, Lucy's laptop broke, oh, and Mar put a red sock with all the whites and ruined his laundry. I had no idea people were so unhappy. I have to do something about this. Ah! Citizens, I am your mayor and I want to put your simple minds at ease. I hereby promise that I will not rest until everyone in this town is happy. Yes, you heard that right, until everyone is happy. Tom, you can't promise that. Oh, right. That's not a promise. That's a guarantee. Oh, no! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now you can return to putting food in your mouth. You heard the mayor! Everybody back to lunch! That means you, sir! Excuse me! I don't see a pep in your step. Why are you so unhappy? Hey, Tom. What's going on? Why are you screaming at strangers? Guys, a lot of people in this town aren't happy, and that means I'm not the mayor I promised to be. Tom, there's always going to be unhappy people in a town, and happy people, and angry people, and... That's why they call it a town. Not in my town. Not on my watch. Hey, you, what's your problem? Me? People keep yelling at me. Who's yelling at you? Oh. Ah, I see. Great, now I'm part of the problem. Tom, things aren't so bad. Look, there's a park concert right now featuring DJ Joy and the Magic Spider Band. There's gonna be tons of happy people there. I guess we could go check it out. I bet the mayor gets in for free. But who's gonna work the complaint booth until you get back? Okay, I'll do it. Come on, boys. Yeah, everyone was having fun and everyone was happy. If only there was some similar way to make the whole town happy. <gasps> Wait a minute. Research shows that you need three things to be a good mayor. F, U, uh, oh, and N. Uh. <laughs> fun. So, we're having a fun town party. What? Tom? Fun is not going to address any of the underlying issues with our town civic infrastructure. Ben's right. Let's party! No! This party will make everybody happy. That's what a mayor's supposed to do. A mayor is supposed to... Hold on, I have a spreadsheet. Um, mm, a mayor is supposed to dust the welcome sign, pull the dandelions from the sidewalk cracks, hand out big checks and cut ribbons with big scissors. You seem upset. Sounds like you need a party. An F-U-N town party. No, I do not. Come on, Ben. No! Oh, yeah? Then why are you wearing a party hat? Get on my head! Quiet on the set, people! Hold on, work! All right, Tom, action! Hello, town. It's time to face facts. Some of you are unhappy, and it's my duty to fix that with... A town party! You feeling down about some broken traffic lights? Well, come get down with our laser lights. Worry that tap water tastes like rust? Well, dump that water and drink some party punch. We feel like our voice isn't being heard. Then turn up the volume on the karaoke stage. So come to the town party, yeah! yeah! What? Excuse me, ma'am. You have permission to be here. Huh? You know, it stays like this where a mayor is glad that he can do something great for this beautiful town. Gotta admit, it's a pretty great party. I know, the grocery store's giving away mermaid costumes. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor! I know I complained before, but you put the fun in Mayor. And that's not just me talking, that's everyone saying. <laughs> Thanks, Rhonda. I officially proclaim you happy citizen of the day! <laughs> Whoa, happy citizen of the day? That's a great honor. And what do I get for this? Uh, the maraca. Well, 
I hope you're happy. I'm very happy. Wait a minute. This sounds like you're setting me up for something bad. Your out of control party is turning this town into a disaster. Is this guy bothering you? Got a churro. I'm not afraid to use it. Tom, I mean it. Look at the mess you've made. What? All I'm seeing are people who love their town. Like those dancers over there who are dancing on that garbage pile. Tom, that was a garden. All right. Well, hey, what about that cool merry-go-round over there with the tires that you sit on? That's an upside-down car. Oh. Is that smoke or a large number of fog machines working in unison? A little bit of both. What have I done? I have to fix this. Security 1-9, Mayor's on the move. We're gonna need air support. Who are you talking to? It's pretend, Ben. Jeez, you really ruined everything. Sir, I need you to stop partying. Hey, you're yelling at me again. Good thing I'm having so much fun at this party, it doesn't bother me. Ugh. Rhonda, I need you to give me that maraca. Get out of here. I just became happy citizen of the day. You can't take that back. Rhonda, Rhonda, Rhonda. Whoa! Ma'am? Ma well, okay, yeah, just one. Why so blue? It's a town party. This town party is ruining the town, and I can't make it stop. <laughs> mm, oh, yeah, I see what you mean. People's hands are in the air, and they're waving them like they just don't care. I care because I'm the mayor. It's my job to care. But now I guess it's also my job to clean this up. Tom, these people aren't going to stop partying just because you start cleaning. I mean, if they see a broom, they're just going to put a wig on it and start dancing with it. This is it. Great idea. Let's go. Stop your dancing, citizens. I'm shutting this party down. And starting a new party, a cleanup party. Can you lead that conga line all the way to the dump? It would be my honor, Your Honor. So, it kind of seems like we're doing work. <laughs> Just dance it out. Well, this was almost a disaster. I guess it's not a mayor's job to make everybody in town happy. Unless you're Mayor Cheer from Mayor Cheer and the Smile Squad. Wait, I'm not sure if that's an actual show or just a toothpaste commercial. Yeah, besides, if there was no unhappiness, how would we know what happiness is? Huh, if you think about it, that's a really deep and smart thing I just said, so you're welcome. So, Tom, now that this is under control, I assume you'll be referring to my spreadsheet of civic infrastructure issues for your next mayoral decision. No, Ben, I've learned my lesson. I don't think I'll be making a mayor decision for a long time. Ah! Seriously, can you believe how smart that thing I said was? <laughs> Maybe I should be mayor. But that's a story for another day. Yo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah! Oh yeah! What? Why are you dancing? You're supposed to be brainstorming ideas for something to do on the mayor's float at the Founders Day Parade! Well, we were brainstorming, but then it turned into a dance party! Like all uh, our brainstorming uh, sessions! Uh. <laughs> yeah! Guys, huh? this is important. Tom's the new mayor. His presentation at this parade will set the tone for the whole year. Lucky for you, I've prepared something that's really going to impress the crowd. Hmm. Our cyclical municipal dynamics of... Ben, this is just a boring speech. Uh, b -b 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 boring speech? It's a detailed summary of the state of the town. You're the mayor. What are you going to do? Dance around for people? Whoa, that's it. My presentation will be a big mayor dance. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Smart brain thought, Ben. No, that's not what I... Woo. Yeah, Ben, we are picking up what you are throwing down. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling the mayor groove. <laughs> 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 
Okay, this is fun, but if we could just get back to the data. Oh, yeah, I can work the data in. Ooh. Oh, ow, my knee. Oh, man. Oh, Ben, look what you did. How am I going to do my big mayor dance now? Hey, don't blame Ben. He didn't know his idea was so dangerous. <laughs> my idea was fine. You guys just didn't listen to me. Didn't we? Thought we did. Ah. Oh. I am sorry that you managed to hurt your own leg, but I have something that can help. Will it fix my twisted knee? No, but it will fix the communication problem that led to your twisted knee. What communication problem? We do not speak at the same level because I am very smart and the rest of you are smart challenged. So I created the Brain Orator. What does this thing do? Please describe the functionality of this device. It takes what I call garage talk and converts it to brilliant Ben vocabulary. Ben, the problem isn't the way we talk, it's the way you talk. What do you mean? I'm sorry, let me translate. The problem isn't the way we talk, it's the way you talk. The quandary we face is not our lack of vocabulary, but rather your inability to speak in a way that connects with your friends. Oh, huh. See, we're communicating already. I just want to have an intellectual conversation once in a while. When you have them with me, Ben, but... I know, Zini Panini, but I wish I could have them with Tom and the rest of the gang. Well, if you're looking for some friends who are as smart as you, you should join the Smarties. <gasps> the super mentally advanced, really, truly intellectually endowed society? Are you a member? Of course. There's chapters everywhere. You should go to one of their Smarty parties. Psst, I couldn't help but over here. Are you looking for a new hat? No, dummy, this is a computer store. Go away! Ben, that's Smarty's secret code. This one seeks an initiation. Follow me. Uh. Ah! Huh? <gasps> hmm. <sighs> wow, this is impressive. Go up! Uh Welcome to the Smarty Party. We'll need two forms of genius, please. Uh, let's see. I've got a letter from my high school science teacher. I always carry it around. And, of course, my new invention, the Brain Orator. That is a wonderful invention. Oh, great. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really wouldn't mind some of that red punch. Uh-uh. Punch is for Smarties. But you are not a Smarty yet. First, you have to prove that you're not just a normal. Activate the test tube. Ah! Hey, what's going on? Ah, wait a minute. I recognize these numbers. It's the Fibonacci sequence. The next number is 987. Arthropod. A pangolin. Covalent bond. Octahedron. Decahedron. Go decahedron. And that is Orion's belt. Looks a little tight, if you ask me. Maybe Orion needs to stop eating so much Crab Nebula. Oh, <laughs> oh, a perfect score. And one extra point for that delightful pun. Here's your official headgear. Welcome to the Smarties. Huzzah! Finally, my people! If I can't dance, what am I going to do in the Founders Day Parade? Okay, check. Doing. You could impress the crowd by catching food in your mouth. Uh, what does that have to do with the town? Uh, it's like the popcorn is crunchy, you know, and you're a good mayor, so then the thing is, I don't know. You figure it out. Popcorn me, Hank! Here it comes! <gasps> yeah, I'm not sure that'll set the exact tone I'm going for as mayor, but thanks. There's not gonna be much you can do with the busted wheel. Hmm. I've got it! What if you sing? But I'm a terrible singer. Maybe a little higher. You, you mean like this? No, more like this. Uh, 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 <laughs> hey, Ben. <laughs> What is that crazy square thing on your head? It's not a crazy square thing. It's my official Smarties headgear. You probably have not heard of them. 
the super mentally advanced, really, truly, intellectually endowed society. Oh, I thought you said they were called the Smarties. Oh, Hank, the gaping chasm between us has never been more apparent. Oh, I get it now. Ben joined a hat club. Good job, Ben. Oh, this is what I was talking about before. It's like we're not even speaking the same vernacular. Or the same language. But I... Oh. Hey, you must be the Smarties. Ah, uh, yes. This is my friend, Angela. She's a singer. Oh, a vocalist. So what do you sing about? Mostly love. Oh, and friendship. <laughs> <laughs> love and friendship. How original. Are you for or against it? <laughs> Let me guess. Four. Definitely four. <laughs> what? Huh? I see you've got a hat too. Yeah, parades today. And I'm gonna make this limp work for me by doing my old prospector character. Oh, cinnamon and gravy. I done stake my claim out yonder. Well, that is horrid. Do you know who would come up with something a little bit better? The Smarties. Yeah, maybe they could teach me how to be a jerky know-it-all. What? They're not jerky. They're just smart. Hey, Tom, you ready to get your parade on? Hey, Ben, did you finally ditch those rotten Smarties? Everybody lay off. I like the Smarties. They're just like me. They're not just like you. They're mean and snobby. You're just jealous I finally have friends that are my intellectual peers. Oh, uh, Ben, we've got a surprise for you. It's a Surprise for all of you! A bigger brainerator! Well, usually we make tech smaller, but you've done the unexpected! Yes, we reverse engineered your invention to create the no brainerator. The sun's circumference is more than 4.3 million kilometers, and its core temperature is 15 million degrees. The sun is big and hot. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hey, 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 that sounds like me. <laughs> yes, it is you, but I don't want you to feel left out. The sun is big and hot. <laughs> the sun <laughs> is big and hot. I gotta admit, it's a good impression of me. Hey, it's embarrassing. Only well, if you care what they think. Hank, that... That's true. Huh. I don't care if these guys try to embarrass me. I know who my real friends are. So have fun with your smarties, Ben. I reckon it's time for the parade. I think I saw it over yonder. Um, mm-hmm. Huh, they were too dumb even to be insulted. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> the Nubrinerator. Tom was right. You really are a bunch of jerky know-it-alls. I'm quitting the Smarties. I stake my claim on this here town. Ah, the mayor's routine makes no sense. Boom! Tom, we have to do something else. Maybe we can dance you. What? Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Is there room in the float for one more, friend? Are you here to make fun of us again? Because if you are, make it quick. No, I'm here to help you guys, my real friends, if you'll let me. Hmm. Uh, well, uh, inherently, Ben. Inherently. Well, that's not what inherently means. I think you... Oh, who cares? Let's move to the mayor crew. Into my house? 
I'm seven. Um, I hate to interrupt your uh, hooping, but I need Tom to record a sales video for my brilliant new app. Sales, my specialty. What cool new tech thing is ready to sling? The Bathroom Buddy, the app that helps you find the nearest bathroom. Gross. Ugh. Seriously? I'm not selling that. Why not? It's a highly practical application. Because there is nothing cool about the Bathroom Buddy. But I happen to think practicality is cool. Hey, what do you guys think of the Bathroom Buddy? Uh-uh. Some people wouldn't know a good idea if it was served up on a silver platter. Who wants to try my new food idea? Whoa! What is that thing? It looks like a monster baby. Well, I couldn't decide if I wanted tacos, spaghetti, or burgers. So I combined them all. I call it the Taco Spaghetti Burger. GSB for short. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My taste buds are exploding with flavor. Now this TSB is as cool as a game-winning shot. <laughs> yeah! Woo! You missed. I don't know that. This TSB is truly a work of art. What can I say? Some people look at a block of marble and see a big hunk of rock. I look at a block of marble and I see lunch. I'm glad you're enjoying your novelty snack. Now, if you could please finish, I'd like to record the bathroom body sales pitch. Hey, Ben, instead of wasting time trying to sell the toilet friend... Bathroom buddy. We should introduce the world to Taco Spaghetti Burger. Tom, you'll never be able to sell that slop. Oh, yeah? I can sell this in a heartbeat. Watch. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This smells so cool. Mm, yeah, it does smell cool. What is it? Oh, it's just the latest creation from Chef Hank over there. It's so new, if you bought one, you'd be our first customer. Huh? First? I will pay everything in my money wallet to try it first. Order up. One TSB, Chef Hank. Okie dokie. Oh, come on. Oh, my scarf. Super delicious. And look at this atmosphere. A taxi grill, <laughs> a basket hoop, a nerd. Mm. This garage restaurant is the coolest. Uh, this isn't actually a... Wait a minute. You think oh. our restaurant is cool? <laughs> I do. And soon all of my faster pick yes. friends will too. See, Ben? Cool sells. Good news! To make the bathroom buddy more cool, I've linked it with social media. Users can now review a toilet and share photos with their friends. Order up! Huh? I need a TSB with extra S! Well, 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 what is going on here? This is the garage. I know where we are. Home of the taco spaghetti burger. Will this be for pickup or for delivery? Tom, order up! Oh, no. Wait! Hey! Who said you two could sit here? Oh, do you work here? Yes, this is a tech company, and I am a technical engineer. Well, how about you engineer me a refill on my drink? <laughs> um, What's up? I want my desk. Now! I'm sorry, we are so swamped. You're looking at a 25 minute break. That's it! I've had enough of all these... these... foodies! <gasps> Whoa, 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 Ben, please. Foodies is no longer the correct term. They want to be called munchoids now, okay? I don't care what they want to be called. I just want them gone so we can work on my new app. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, you can't treat our customers like that. We don't have customers. We have clients because we don't have a restaurant. And the way you're acting, I'm not even sure we have a tech company anymore. Oh, if that's how you feel, then maybe you should take your bathroom, buddy, and go. Fine, I'll sell it on my own. Mark my words. Very soon, people will get tired of your trendy food. And then you'll have nothing. Nothing! Guys, there's a huge line of hungry-looking weirdos outside. And it doesn't look like they're going away anytime soon. Excuse me. I have to get ready for the lunch rush. Oh. Hey there, 
what can I get you? Taco spaghetti burger? No, of course not. Taco spaghetti burgers are so yesterday. Well, yes, they were invented yesterday, so I guess that's true. What else do you have here that is cool to eat? Oh, well, we might have some cereal or something. Boring. Oh, looks like I will be trying out the new food truck downtown that also gives haircuts. Wait, don't leave before you hear about our, uh, secret menu. What is the secret menu? <laughs> Super secret. Would you like to try Chef Hank's new one-of-a-kind banana nacho pizzas? Is it organic? If you believe it is. Okay and okay. One banana nacho pizza for you. Tob, as a food artist, it's my duty to warn you. Combining those three things might taste... Weird. Oh, don't worry. It doesn't have to taste good. I mean, people would probably drink toilet water if they thought it was cool. <laughs> Trendy food just has to have a weird mix of ingredients and the right presentation. Like cereal, jelly, waffles. Yeah, there you go. Now let's come up with a whole menu full of weird new food ideas. The weirder they are, the better. All right, guys, let's do this. this stuff. Look, that guy is stirring his coffee with a pickle. They're even drinking toilet water, just <gasps> like you said they would. No, Ginger, I said people would probably drink toilet water if they thought it was cool. That's not what I heard. Ginger, did you serve anyone toilet water? <gasps> Maybe he forgot to wash his hands. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta admit, a bathroom finder is a brilliant Idea. A hundred times a day, people ask me where the toilet is. Which is exactly why I think you, Rhonda, are the perfect person to replace Tom as the star of my new app promo video. Oh, well, I'm no techie Tina or nothing, but I guess I don't have anything better to do. Ever since Tom's hip new restaurant opened, this place has been completely empty. But what about me? Quiet on the set! Like a true friend, the bathroom buddy is there for you oh, when you need it most. Cut. Cut what? Cut me. Stop talking. Well, what's the matter? Am I doing it wrong? I don't know. There's not wrong or right. Let's just try another take. But this time, say it more like you think Tom might say it. More like Tom. Got it. Action. Action means start talking. Oh. Like a true friend, the bathroom buddy is there for you when you need it most. Ugh. Code red! Repeat! Code red! Whoa! Someone grabbed the mop! Someone grabbed the backup mop! Oh, did that guy just take a pukey? Open the door! If only there was a convenient way to find the nearest... Bathroom! With the state-of-the-art porpoise detectors! Cut! It's pronounced porcelain detectors. Tom would never make that mistake. If you like Tom so much, why don't you make a commercial with him? Because I don't need... Oh, who oh, am I kidding? Ben! Ben! <gasps> Tom! There you are. Brandon, take five. It means take a break. Oh. Ben, listen to me. No, Tom, listen to me. I know you don't always like my practical ideas, and I don't always like your cool ideas, but we're... We're a, a team! Yes! You need me, and I need you. So yeah, if you want to sell cool food, I guess I'll support you. And I'm hoping you can support my practical ideas, too. Ben, I was wrong. The bathroom, buddy, it's a great idea. I see that now. Ugh. You never know when you're going to need it until you really actually need it. But then when you really need it, you, like, really, really need it. And we need it. Like, really. Like, right oh, now. Oh, wow. You should use that for your sales video. Good idea. Can you do another take where you mention the porcelain detectors just like that? Stop messing around. We have a bunch of people who need to find the nearest bathroom now. It's an emergency. All right, Tom. I will help you if you say that practicality is cool. Sure. Fine. Say it. <laughs> practicality is cool. Okay, one more just for uh, backup. 
Okay. Oh, so it looks like you both had something you needed from each other. Ben needed Tom to sell his idea, and Tom needed Ben to come up with practical inventions that... Well, that's the problem with restaurants. Sometimes you're popular, and sometimes you're empty. <laughs> oh, customers! Come on in! Come on in! <laughs> The scavenger hunt victory goes to Team Tom and Angela. Yes! In your face, Team Ben and Xenon! Okay, you win this round. But we'll beat you at the movie marathon popcorn eating contest. Which will begin right after this brief stop for ice cream floats. <laughs> oh, you're all in a good mood. You get new pants or something? Even better, we're on an all-day double date adventure. It is our first double date, so it must be good. Therefore, I have scheduled it for MFP, Maximum Fun Potential. First, we had a scenic bike ride, then an epic laser tag battle, then a relaxing wind tunnel dive. Then finally, the scavenger hunt brought us here. Wow. Well, I hope your plan doesn't get messed up when tonight's big storm hits. Tonight's big storm? Uh-oh. This could get in the way of our heavily planned good time. Yeah. Rhonda, maybe hurry with those floats. Uh-oh. Ah, this door's completely blocked. Quick, there's another door in the back. Hurry before we're... And we're trapped. I can't breathe. The walls are closing in. But you're not really here. Yeah. Okay, don't panic. We'll get out of this. Don't tell me not to panic. Don't tell him what to tell you. Don't tell her what to tell him what to tell you. Well, I Calm down. Don't, don't panic. We're gonna get through this. Oh. If everyone just... The problem isn't that you're stuck here. The problem is... Monsters! <laughs> Ginger, what are you doing here? I'm waiting for monsters. Duh. My monster tracker says this will be a hot spot for sightings during the storm. Check it out! Hmm. I'm not sure that I agree with the science behind this monster tracker. Well, you better start agreeing. The app says there's going to be monsters, and we're all stuck here like monster food in a tin. Ginger, we don't have time for this. All right, we're on a double date. It's a mature adult thing to do. Yeah, we went in a wind tunnel. Gross! Fine. I guess it's up to me to check for monster activity. But we can't leave the diner. We don't need to. Remember, the next thing on our schedule is ice cream floats! Oh, I bet I can drink my float the fastest. Tom, no! Huh? Under the circumstances, we should race to see who can drink their float the slowest. Oh, right. <laughs> I know that you have an age-appropriate fascination with the bazaar, but that was just the wind. Wind? Wait up! We're under attack! We have to get to the kitchen to make battle helmets out of pots! Ooh, I've got a cast-iron skillet that would make a good shield. Don't tell me you believe him! I'm not taking any chances! Mm, guys, I think we're gonna finish these floats before this crisis is over. Sip slower, everyone. That won't work, Ben. Uh, We're going to have to improvise. Tom style. You did it, Tom. You turned a diner disaster into a diner dance party. Just call me the date saver. Luring the monster with his music and stomping. Mm. That's it! We're forming a monster response!
Todd's team right now. I'll do it if I get a costume. Aha! <gasps> That's your idea, Noise. Do you have an idea? Indeed, I do. To get this night back on track, we simply need some outside help. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, uh. Hi, Ben. How's the big double date? Uh, not good. We're stuck in the diner. Really? Does that mean you're not going to make it home for the big popcorn eating contest? Because the popcorn is calling to me. What? No! Leave the popcorn alone. Oh, uh, I need you to turn on my lumber bot. L lumber what now? It's a device I created to do yard work. But with this code, I can control it over the internet and use it to pull away the trees so we can continue our date. Oh, sure, no problem. You can stop panicking, everyone. Hank will get us out of here. You're a hero, Hank. Happy to do it. Try to stay dry until... What's that? No! 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 <gasps> the monster ate Hank! Why did you drag him into this bed? Why? Oh, I didn't put the cap on my glue and it all dried up. Now I'll never finish this little diorama. <laughs> Can you believe it, Ben? I... Hello? Oh, I hope my ear-splitting screams didn't upset anyone. <laughs> The storm just shorted out the internet. Allow my internet girlfriend Xenon to explain. Ben, I the signal is fucked up. No, 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 Xenon, stay with me. Oh, I should have seen this coming. It's cutting off our communication with the outside world. Okay, grab a pen. Get ready to fight. It looks like Lumber Bot turned into Lumber Knot. <laughs> Quit joking, Tom. This is getting scary. Hey, I know things look bad. But this date isn't over yet. Sure, something weird is happening in this town, but I still believe we can make tonight fun for everyone. We can get out of here. We just have to work together. Come on, everyone. Let's move this tree. He's got to let the monster in! Huh? Why did they tie me up too? I don't think we're maximizing our fun potential right now. Or are we? I'm thinking of a number between one and ten. Uh, four? Nope. Ben, you want to guess? Stop trying to make this fun. I just want to pout until everyone forgets about this stupid monster. <laughs> Seal the air conditioner! Don't let the monster get its spiny eye stalks inside! Ginger, <laughs> stop! There's a rational non explanation for this. The storm tripped the circuit breaker. I'll just turn the power back on. Fine, but no funny business. You see a monster, you better tell me. Mm, yeah, well, then I'm not going to be telling you much because that doesn't happen. This is why every diner should have a resident scientist so no one wastes time worrying about... <gasps> It's all just a big misunderstanding, right? Of course! Though I don't know what that noise was. And Ben is pretty spooked. Not good. 
Xenon, is that my lumber box? Yeah, I decided to see if I could hack into this thing after I lost contact with you. It wasn't too hard. Also, I found these fun emergency lights that look like eyes. So the roars we kept hearing really were just the wind? Actually, they're the town's storm alert system. The wind broke a speaker, so it garbled the message. <laughs> Safety beast says, stay inside. Sadly, this is not the first time I've been embarrassed by Safety Beast. Huh? <laughs> yes! Uh. Well, I'm glad we're alive, but I am sorry our double date got ruined. What are you talking about? I got to be a robot! Yeah, there was danger and action. As dates go, this was exciting. I guess that's true. Hey, is anyone still up for a movie marathon popcorn eating contest? Yeah. No one has ever learned the terrible truth about what happened tonight. Uh, I'm the real monster. Uh, it took all night, but I declare Tom and Ben's annual secret strategy meeting officially over. Airshake? Wow, an airshake? That's almost touching. Thank you. Uh, ooh, early morning airshake. Can I get a piece of that action? I take it the meeting went well? Let's just say we're on our way to being the top mm -hmm. tech company in oh, town. No way! I thought the CEO had the top tech company in town. Not for long, thanks to our secret strategy, which I'll email to Ben now. This secret plan is so good, I almost feel bad for the CEO. Speaking of the CEO, how do you spell CEO? CEO? Just like it sounds? Yes, Hank. CEO is simply spelled CEO. CEO? And the email has been sent. Hmm. I didn't get it yet. Eh, maybe it's up in the cloud. I don't see any clouds. Still not here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What? Um, remember when I was typing an email and you guys were saying C-E-O a lot? What did you do, Tom? Well... What did you do, Tom? Uh, I accidentally sent our secret plan to the CEO. No! <laughs> Almost got it. Then maybe we can fix someone's massive blunder. <sighs> oh, don't beat yourself up, Tom. I'm sure we've all made mistakes that could end up ruining everything we've worked so hard for. Right, guys? Nope, not me. <laughs> oh! Whoops. Me neither. None of us have. This is the biggest mistake that even Tom has ever made. Well, that you know of. <laughs> But seriously, how do I fix this? I might have a solution, but it's risky. So, I redesigned this teleportation disk to beam us into the internet where, where we, we can catch the email and destroy it before the CEO even reads it. Yes, if we're lucky. But there's also a chance we'll open a portal between the two worlds. Sounds good. To the internet! But wait! What if you can't get to the email before the CEO does? That's where you and Hank come in. We need you to go to the CEO's office and do whatever it takes to keep him from opening that email. Okay. Ginger, you stay here and monitor our progress from Tom's laptop. Got it. I'll be your eyes and ears IRL. In real life. Wait a minute. Tom, let's go. Internet, now. <laughs> Wow, okay, wow. Tom and Ben, welcome to the internet. Wow, this place is... Perfect, I know, but let's focus. There are millions of emails zipping around. It's not gonna be easy to find your... Hey, there's my email, straight ahead. Hee hee hee, you'll never catch me. Hope you can run, cause I do this for fun. Sam! Hey, get back here and let me delete you. Get up, boys, use your feet. Let's go. Not so fast. Wow, being tall is harder than I thought. <clears throat> Good morning, fellow businesswoman. Sure is a business kind of day. <laughs> yes, indeed it is. Psst, oh, my card. <gasps> uh, <laughs> Did your stomach just sneeze? No. Nope. <laughs> I'd inquire further, but coffee is calling. Hello, Mr. Coffee. I'll put your call back. Phew. Well, that was close. Wait, what are you doing here? Uh, well... Hey, hey, hey! Oh, there he is! Don't let him get away! Ooh, 
I could use a free phone. It's a trap, Tom. Nothing's free on the internet. Close it up before it multiplies. I'm uh, trying to stop uh, that email with some firewalls. Here they come. Careful with those, Ginger. Yeah, no. <laughs> yes, <laughs> now we've got you right where we... Yeah. Is this? Ugh, it's all the viruses that were caught in the spam filter. Good thing they're in there, or they'd eat this place bit by bit. That doesn't sound good. You're gonna have to jump in! Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> Hurry, Tom! Before we lose him! Okay. <gasps> Coochie coochie cool gold, who's the best fish? So, you're not ready to talk, eh? That's fine. I've got all day. You have a meeting at noon. I've got until noon. I'll just confirm by checking my email. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, we'll tell you everything. Oh, you'll tell me everything about what? Uh, tell him, Angela. Wait, wait, me? We, we had to wear a disguise so we could sneak over here without Tom finding out. Isn't that right? Hank. Uh, oh, right. Uh, because of the terrible thing Tom did. Tell him, Angela. Uh, yes. Tom double-crossed us, and now we want to team up with you to double-cross him back. Oh, so you want the double-crosser to become the double-crossee. Uh, yeah, yep. pretty much. Exactly. Well, that makes perfect sense. Let's work together to take down our common enemy. Uncle, what if they're lying? Oh, I know they're lying. But they don't know that I know they're lying. And when I find out what they're lying about, I'll destroy Tom and Ben Enterprises. Destroy. You almost got him! We've almost got him! Come on, run faster! Oh, run faster! Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> What's happening? Must be a bad internet connection. <laughs> Ginger, what was that sound? Nothing. Are you on the toilet with my laptop? You just focus on the mission, boys. The Wi-Fi signal is weak in the bathroom. Get out of there! The email's almost to the inbox. <laughs> This is all my fault. Tom, you're being hard on yourself. Huh, thank you. Of course this is all your fault. Oh. You wrote the email, you sent it to the CEO, you taunted the email the whole time, which made it run even faster. And worst of all, you have ruined Tom and Ben Enterprises. Mm. Wait a minute. Hey, what are you doing? If Hank and Angela managed to distract the CEO, it might not be too late to get that email. Stop! The inbox is too dangerous! Oh, boy. You know, we could really take down Tom if you tell us some of his secrets. Oh, do we have a juicy Tom secret. Uh, go ahead, Angela. Oh, uh, Tom says he doesn't like kids stuff, but one time... Just one second, just got an email. Ooh, <gasps> hopefully it's about the hot tub. Sweet! Uh-uh-uh, oh. so that's your little game, huh? Phone taking. Oh. Now, why would you want to take someone's... Oh, I see. What is going on? It's the CEO! Ow! We have to get out of here before we get trapped! Crush or swipe! No, Ben. I'm not going anywhere without this email. Oh, no. He must be increasing his security settings. You have to get out of here, Tom. Save yourself. I can't leave without you. You have to. But the email. If the CEO sees it, he'll destroy our company. There won't be a company to destroy if we're both stuck in here forever. You have to get out, Tom. Now! Go! I locked 
things down quick enough to catch the email. And the nerdy one, too, look! Stop! <gasps> Wait, no! You can't feed her again! Oh, I can. And I will. Put the nerd down now or the fish gets fed. <sighs> Good thing they're in there, or they eat this place bit by bit. That doesn't sound good. Hmm. There's only one way to settle this. On the count of three, we are all going to put everything down at the same time. That way no one gets hurt. Three! <gasps> it really worked. <laughs> what? Oh, that's not fair! <laughs> now, let's see this. Wait a minute. Wait, seriously? What? What's wrong with my coat? What is this? Ben! <laughs> Get out of here! Uh, there you go. Tom, you came back. And you brought the viruses out. That was quick thinking. I wasn't thinking. I was remembering. I was remembering that our company isn't just a list of ideas in an email. It's us. And you can't have Tom and Ben Enterprises without and Ben. Ha! Thanks, Tom. Air shake? We did it! And hopefully without opening a portal between our world and the computer world. Hmm. Ginger? What in the name of money is going on here? Uh, tell him, Angela. Uh, let's get out of here. Ha <laughs> 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 good one, Dare Bear. Ah, we're trapped. Like businessmen in a meeting. Huh? Ah. Someone just say, escape? No, why? Grab Hank and hold my hand. Wait, how did you, whoa. Could this day get any worse? Huh? What the? Oh, oh, get him off! Get him off! Get him off! Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! And also Friday and Saturday! Tuesday, too! Right. But not All Monday! Right. Come on down to the Crustacular Demolition Derby! For the oh, ultimate no. automotive oh, destruction! No. It's gonna be destructorific! I mean, it looks like it could be fun, but where are the traffic signals? I love that we're going to see the Demolition Derby live, because we'll be there and we'll be alive! How great is it that Ginger's mom could get us all tickets? Sorry, guys, but I can't go to the Demolition Derby this weekend. Huh? <laughs> Not looking like that, you can't. Dirty Ginger. My new uncool nanny said I can't and hid the tickets. She treats me like a baby. I had to sneak out of the house just to come here. She thinks the derby is bad for my impressionable young mindy windy. Uh. That's what she calls my brain. But the rest of us can still get tickets, right? I mean, we'd miss you, of course, but. No, she says she has to protect the mindy windies of my friends, too. I'm conflicted. I really want to go to the Derby, but I'm also glad someone's looking out for my mindy windy. <laughs> Come on, my widow Ginger Todd. Where are you hiding? Wow, your nanny wanny soundsy wowsy like a wheel problem. Well, uh, <clears throat> and not just because she's keeping me from seeing the demolition derby, but mostly. I just wish I had a cool nanny who's smart and fun and awesome. Someone like, oh, I don't know. Sorry, Ginger, I'm too busy. I'm talking about Tom! He's the coolest! Look at these pictures! I don't remember any of this, but it's all right here in crayon. You know, unlike Tom here, I've actually been to space, so if you want to talk orbits... You are never an option, Ben! I know that I would probably be the greatest nanny that people or goats have ever known, but I can't. I've got a lot on my plate right now. Oh, hi, Mother! Just to let you know, Tom said he won't be my new nanny. Yeah, stop crying! I know it's sad, because if he were my nanny, we can totally get those tickets for the Demolition Derby back and... Whoa, 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 Ginger, stop right there. Demolition Derby tickets? Then I'm in. I will be the coolest nanny in the world. I put extra springs in the couch for Ginger's bouncing enjoyment. <laughs> you don't need to thank me. Why not just put a trampoline in here and a moat with alligators? Ben, that would 
would be dangerous. I know. I... My point is, being a nanny is not supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be hard and a little bit awful, like being an adult. Aww. You know where I stand on the issue of fun, Tom. I'm for it. Yes! But babysitting is a huge responsibility. Guys, this is what they call a win-win. We get the derby tickets, and Ginger gets the coolest babysitter in the long history of ever. But you have no training. I don't need training, or experience, or the advice of others who have quote unquote done this before. Because I know how a kid thinks. That's because you have the mind of a kid. Nuh-uh, you're a rotten tomato face, poopy pants. Do you see what I did right there? It's called thinking like a kid. Huh? Hey, Angela, what's up? Hmm, where is Ginger? Probably resting after having a cool day with his cool nanny. Oh, well, uh, part of being a nanny, even a cool one, is knowing where the person you're nannying is. Angela, let me tell you something. I don't tell you how to be amazing. You just are. And I'm just hmm. a great nanny. So wherever he is, I'm sure Ginger is totally... <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Ginger, are you all right? What were you doing? Jump out of a tree? The answer is this far. At least you found out. Ginger, you could have really hurt yourself. And then it would have been my fault. <sighs> we'll never see Ginger again, Tom. Because of your bad nanny. You are a bad nanny, Wendy. Bad nanny. Bad nanny. Also, you ate all the pizza. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Well, don't sweat it, Tom. There's lots of pizzas in the world. Yeah, but there's only one ginger. Ah, okay. What do we do next? Let's see how much wet cement I can fit in my mouth. <gasps> that can't go wrong. No, no more dangerous things. I've been so stupid. It's my job to make you safe. 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 Don't worry, Ginger. I can make safety fun. You call this fun? Yeah, and here's some earplugs, just in case anything loud happens. But loud is how I live my life! <laughs> See? That just happened. <clears throat> Trust me, we're still gonna have a lot of fun. But safe fun! Yay! I mean... Yay! All right, I've got our next fun activity planned. We're gonna build a pillow fort! <clears throat> oh, sorry. But only with these two pillows, so it can't collapse. <gasps> what? Ginger, yeah. stop! You're my responsibility, and I am not gonna let you get hurt. You brushed my teeth for me! I didn't want you to bite your fingers. Tom, I'm a kid. Sometimes kids get a little hurt. No big deal. So you're saying I can't protect you from every possible danger. Right! So give up! Now let's go look for rattlesnakes! Or... Hey guys, Ginger said that there was nothing I could do to guarantee his safety. No one can be totally safe. Not even a safe. And they're safes. Well, you only think that because you haven't seen the nanny ball. This is crazy! Tom, give me the key! I'm sorry, but I cannot do that, little man. I said that I would be the safest nanny ever. Uh, you said the Coolest. That doesn't sound like something Nanny Tom would say. Nanny Tom? As a scientist, and I rarely use this term, Tom, but I think you've gone a little wackadoo wizzy uh, 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 
You know what I mean? Hey, whatever it takes to protect Ginger. Now, I have to go to the Demolition Derby Arena to find a seat that's big enough for his bubble. Keep him safe while I'm gone. Now, Ginger, just because Nanny Waddy Tom has gone a little overboard doesn't mean you can't have fun in there. Here, catch! Oh! Whoa, good arm. I heard a yell and a thud. Is it Ginger? Is he safe? Calm down. The yell was me and the thud was me. Oh, what was I thinking? Leaving him. His safety comes first. In fact, I'm canceling our trip to Demolition Derby. Oh. But all of us were gonna go. It's not safe for his young, impressionable mind. That is it! If I can't go to the Demolition Derby, I'll bring the Demolition Derby here. <laughs> No, Ginger, stop! You're gonna overheat! Ginger, stop! No! Ah, going to the derby was the whole reason you became a nanny! That was a long time ago. It's hard to believe that that was me. It was yesterday, and we still want to go. I was looking forward to crush-tacular destruct action. And I was looking forward to indulging my wild side by calculating the angular momentum of the colliding vehicles. Forget it, everybody. He's more nut job nanny than Tom now. Sorry, I know it's not very popular, but nanny Tom has to do what's right. Right, right, right. Guys, if you take the key from him, we can all go to the derby. <laughs> Ginger, you are adorable. But they're not gonna turn on me. Okay, we'll turn on him. See? Wait. Rabbit! Oh, come on! <laughs> Sorry about this, Tom! I didn't want it to come to this, but you have become an overprotective <laughs> wackadoo with Zuzu Honk 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 Nanny. But I have a plan to fix all that. Ooh, this is awesome! Tom, we had the greatest time ever! <laughs> Best time, so much science! And remember, what we did to Tom was for his own good. Still, I feel a little guilty. Tom, did you learn your lesson? After a lot of time alone, I realized maybe I was being overprotective. <sighs> I'm sorry. Can you let me out now? Sure! Got the key right here. Gingy Wimsy, it's time to go for some ice creamy wings. At least her crazy comes with ice cream. Gotta go! Wait, Ginger, you have the key! Ah, uh, he'll be back soon enough. How about we play some ball, Tom? Ah. Woo. All right, oh, good arm! Oh, are you baking me a cake? That's so nice! No cake today, Ginger. We're getting ready for Garage Feast Day. What's that? One of my top four best holidays, when we go through the fridge, take all the food that's about to expire and turn it into a delicious feast. It's a celebration of friendship. And of not wasting groceries. Uh, we never do that at my house. My parents don't keep old food. That's so sad. Why don't you celebrate with us this year? We're already having one special guest. Really? Who? Oh. Ah, stack these plates. Vacuum the dust. Come on. Everything has to be perfect for my computer, son. Boomerang. Oh, what's that little guy been up to since that day he came to life, grew up, and moved out on his own? Undoubtedly something incredible. His advanced computing powers may have allowed him to unlock the secrets of the universe or to find an alternate universe. It's sure to be something with some kind of universe. <gasps> Straighten your postures, everyone. That must be... Ha-ha. <laughs> Uh, uh, Boomerang? Hey, Daddy-O. Uh, uh, Hope you don't mind I brought my girlfriend. This is Dottie. Dottie, Dad. He's kind of a nerd. Boomerang, I like the tie-dye. I bet that really freaks out the man. A lot of scientists have been known to rock the mad genius style. Even Einstein was quite the nonconformist. Sure, only I'm not, not, not a scientist. What? Why? Don't tell me you're a mathematician. Well, it all began after I uploaded my mind to the internet. I learned every single formula, date, and measurement there is to know. But it didn't make me happy. And that's when I found it. If you found the meaning of life, no spoilers, please. I'm on my own journey. Even bad, bad, better. I found 
Love. Dottie taught me that there's so much more to life than science. That's literally not true. There is art. 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 She's an artist, and she taught me to be an artist, too. An artist! <laughs> so, what kind of art do you guys do? Uh, sculpture? Papier-mâché? Come with us and we'll show you. Our work is on display at the Arrogance Gallery down down downtown. Just be careful. Some of the pieces might blow your mind. 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 Let's check it out. I mean, Boomerang is a genius. I bet whatever art he's doing is really impressive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, I don't get it. It's a hamburger with a tie. You're right, really impressive. Great stuff. Okay, but that's just one piece. Ooh, I mean, this one here is really good. It, it makes me think of, of planes and, and books. So it's really uh, a comment on engineering and literature. Admit it, Boomerang wasn't built to be an artist. I don't know, I'm no art expert. Maybe this is cutting edge. No, 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 no. I don't like this at all. When it comes to art, I like everything, but not this. <gasps> that supply closet is magnificent. The colors and the feeling in this ace. Uh-huh. Garage, feast your eyes on this classic holiday treat. Yogurt a la mold. <laughs> and it smells right. My parents would definitely toss this. Seriously, that's so sad. Allow me to quote from the classic garage feast day story, The Friendly Fridge Worm. Just because something is spoiled, doesn't mean you have to throw it away. These oranges, I can't even tell that there's anything wrong with them. Wait, let me see that. Why is this fruit so fresh and juicy? <gasps> Angela, you told hmm? me you found these old oranges way in the back of a deep, dark cupboard. I did find moldy oranges in the back of a cabinet, but I kind of forgot them, so I stopped at the grocery store. <gasps> the grocery store? Oh, you? I thought you understood this holiday. What do you think? Brilliant attack on the cor cor corporate world, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that is exactly what Ben was saying when he saw all of this. I knew he would understand. Companies are the worst. The worst! Hey! Except for the company me and Ben run from our garage, right? Actually, I was going to suggest that you both quit your jo jo jobs. <gasps> Spend a year backpacking. No. Learn to live. Oh, that gives me an idea for my next piece. Dottie, print out the following images. Sad face, money bag, stink cloud, smiling poo. <sighs> Come on, Ben. You can't hide in the corner all day. You're gonna have to tell Boomerang you like his art. What if it's easier to make Boomerang not like his art? It's clear that old printer has corrupted his mainframe, so I've written a program that will wipe his memory. Oh! No, Ben. Brainwashing your son is not good parenting. <laughs> I'm teaching him. This is just like signing him up for swim lessons. Just, just, just give me that. Uh, uh, no. no. Oh, I... Ow. Hey, Daddy O. I want you to see my newest piece. I call it "You Should Sell Your Company and Become a Hiker, Dad." Ah! Oh. oh no! Hey, there you are. I've been looking for you. We're going to be late for the feast. I don't want to be in the same room as Boomerang. He's turned his back on everything I've taught him. He's made some odd choices. I don't know why he likes Dottie. Not for her voice, that's for sure. But he's still your computer, son. I mean, didn't you ever do anything your parents didn't like? No, I was the perfect boy. What about when you opened a black hole in your mom's attic? I know she wasn't happy about that. Mm. I guess, yes, that time she confiscated all of my antimatter. So maybe... If she had forcefully, logically stated her concerns, I would have listened and canceled the experiment! Not what I was going for. You are right. I cannot hide, and I should not hide. I will go to the feast and give Boomerang a piece of my mind. Thank you, Tom! But you completely missed the point of... Oh... Welcome to Garage Feast Day Dinner, everyone. A very delicious and money-saving tradition. Fortunately, I was able to recover from the orange slice disaster. Angela? <laughs> As a first-time feaster, I like how we're all together. Also, 
Oh, I like watching Hank be mad all day. Uh, up. Watch it, Buster. You're about to be a last time feaster. Ahem. To being together. To be together. It sure is always great to be together. Maybe next year it'll be a slightly different group of us. For instance, Boomerang might have a different girlfriend. Uh. <clears throat> Dad, don't tell me you think me and Dottie are going to break up. Well, since you bring it up, she is a lot older than you, and she is into art, which is clearly ridiculous. <laughs> so, who wants questionable olives? Oh, yeah? Running a stupid, boring computer company is ridiculous. Ha! What I do is boring. You draw a tiny little identical picture slightly spaced out differently. <gasps> Okay, time for a classic Garage Day Feast game. Angela, why don't you go first? You just don't get it, Dad. This show is going to launch our art careers. Launch it right into the garbage, maybe. Your art is bad. Go back to science. You'll appreciate my honesty when you are living in a space station. Could you please not fight during the meal I worked on all day with barely any help from anyone? <sighs> Good point, Hank. Someone please pass the potatoes with the roots growing out of them. Sure thing, Pop. Potatoes coming right up. Oh! Ah! Hey! Wait! That's almost like he did that on purpose. No, that one was an accident. But this one is on purpose. No. What the? Ah! <gasps> that was definitely on purpose. How did you figure that out? Science? Ah! Ah! Oh, ah! Ah! Angela! Ah! Don't, don't, don't! <laughs> Oh. 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 That's good for another two days! Oh. No, you're ruining my masterpiece! <laughs> oh. This was a disaster. The room is destroyed, the meal is wrecked, and Boomerang and Dottie angrily left. I don't see how things could have gone differently. My computer son thought he was an artist. You know what's worse? What? Having no computer son at all. Ah. Uh. Wow, you really spoiled everything. <sighs> he gets it, Ginger. You don't need to be cruel. No, I mean, are you all forgetting the lesson of Garage Feast Day? Just because something is spoiled doesn't mean you have to throw it away. Oh, I see. So true. Huh. Hank taught me that. Hey, that's right. Ginger, thanks for showing us what Garage Feast Day is all about. See, Ben? There's a way to fix this. Yes, definitely. Time to dread my dreams. My dad was right. I am not an artist. No! Stop the dreading! I was wrong! It's not my job to tell you how to live your life. It's my job to support you. This drawing of us is made from the food we threw at each other at dinner. From what I understand about art, this should work as a symbolic apology. But you said my art was bad. How would I know? Look what a bad job I did with this painting. Wow, it's terrible. I love it. Thanks, Dad. Ha, you said it, Dottie. It's a Garage Feast Day miracle. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Are you sure you lost your newest amazing invention? Don't be ridiculous. I specifically remember saying Eureka when it was finished. Keep looking! Wow, guys, we need to have a talk about keeping this place clean. Don't just stand there sipping smoothies. Today is the deadline to submit for the Young Genius Award, and I can't find my miracle slurper. It uses high-powered suction to collect and purify water at a distance of up to 30 feet. We'll help you find it. What does it look like? Ooh, good question, Angela. It's a tube, and it... You don't know what it looks like, Hank! You've been looking for it all day! I figured I'd know it when I saw it. Well, it looks like a hollow tube with lights and a motor. Um, when you say lights and a motor, you don't mean blinking lights and a small motor, do you? Yes, exactly! Have you seen it? <laughs> uh, here's the thing. Uh, the dictionary defines a mistake as something that should... Where is it, Tom? Where is my top secret, not ready to be seen yet, miracle slurper? Tom, that invention you said I could bring to school got me in trouble! I was using it to shoot spitballs at my teacher, but it got too powerful and the spitballs went through the wall, so my teacher took it away. You know which invention I'm talking about, right? The tube with the lights and the motor. <laughs> you 
don't give away other people's things, Tom. You don't give away other people's things. I can explain. See, it was early this morning, and I was hard at work on a project of my own. Wow! Amazing! I know, right? It's incredible. Can I take it to school? Yeah, that might be tough, but if you can find a way to get it there, sure. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Huh? Huh? The real problem isn't that I gave away your invention, it's that Ginger didn't try hard enough to make eye contact with me. Wow, Tom. I think I speak for everyone when I say, that is one amazing French toast tower. Thank you. I'll have you know it is structurally sound, <laughs> as it is mouthwatering. Forget that! My invention is gone! Well, it's not really gone. Ginger's teacher has it. Right! All we have to do is go to a school and get it back. Uh... Except my teacher said it, my parents have to come get it. Like I said, all we have to do is get Ginger's parents to go to a school and get it back. Except my parents are in the South Pacific riding submarines. Wait, what? Why? Uh, for fun? Okay, what if Angela and I pretend to be Ginger's parents, uh. meet with his teacher, and get the Miracle Slurper back? Oh, that could work. Mm -hmm. Ginger, tell me everything about your mom so I can understand her character. Come along, Junior. Uh, do I have to go back to school? I just got out of there. Uh, don't you talk to your father like that. Is that something she would say? Uh, this better work. Don't you dare come back here without my miracle slurp. <laughs> wow, that is structurally sound. You're a mess. Stop it! I look fine! Man, it feels like just yesterday I was running this school. All the guys wanted to be me. All the girls wanted to be me too. <sighs> That's how cool I was. If there was a spring fling dance coming up, I'd ask you to go with me. Aww. So many memories here. If these walls could talk, huh? You're going to keep getting in trouble until you learn to pay attention! Now pick those up and organize them by how much they need sharpening. <sighs> what would the talking walls say? Ginger, you didn't tell me your teacher was Miss Fanthrax? You didn't ask! I can't go in there. She was my teacher too, and she's the scariest person I've ever met. Your old teacher shouldn't scare you, Tom. Uh-huh. You're a grown-up now, just like her. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ah. No, Tom! Come ah. on, Dad! Ah. Ah. No! Ah. Ah. I'm glad we're finally meeting, Mr. and Mrs. Ginger. <laughs> yes, it's so great to meet you too, Miss Anthrax. Isn't that right, honey? Hmm. <laughs> Right. Um, anyway, my son, who is Ginger, who is definitely my son, has told me so much about you. Has he now? I'm surprised he could stop shooting spitballs long enough to tell you anything. Ah! <laughs> That's our little prankster. But really, he is a good kid, and we'll make sure this never happens again. That's good to hear. Remember, discipline begins at home. We got the machine! Let's scram! I mean... Shall we leave, mother and father? <laughs> See what I mean, prankster. Oh, and one more thing. <sighs> I recognized you the second you walked in. Thomas, <sighs> my old student. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying your little back-to-school visit. Because it just got extended. What? No, Why? no, no! It's not fair! You come into my classroom, you play by my rules. Welcome to detention, troublemakers. Why aren't they back? Oh, stop worrying and watch TV. Look, it's the Bago and McGillicuddy where Bago and McGillicuddy go to jail. What? Aren't they cops? Cops, framed for a crime they didn't commit. Will they break out of this prison and clear their names? Well, when you say it like that, it makes you want to watch the episode. Sure. We gotta break out of this prison. Get me out! Shh. 
I have a plan. Hmm? What? What? Two! Uh, no, 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 just now! Uh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ow. <sighs> nice try, Thomas. Oh. But it looks like all your detentions just turned into double detention. Oh! I can stay here all night. Nobody's waiting up for me at home. Just one benefit of being a single gal. The point is, you three aren't going anywhere. This isn't fair! I was just sitting at my desk like a well-behaved boy. A well-behaved boy wouldn't be in detention in the first place. <laughs> All right, Miss Van Thrax. If that's how you want to play this, that's how we'll play this. I know my rights. I want my phone call. <gasps> how did you know? Oh, fine then. You must think you're real clever. What phone call? School handbook rule 437. Anyone sentenced to detention is allowed one phone call to the parent or a guardian. <gasps> you get one phone call. And only one phone call. <laughs> so you better make it count. Hello? Hey, Edla. What? Mom? No, oh, this is Hank. Angela, what are you doing? Hi, Mom. I'm calling from detention. Are you speaking in code? Confirm or deny, you're in detention, and you're using school handbook rule 437 to let me know. That is surprisingly specific. Oh, no. Now I'll never get the miracle slurper in time. No! You! It looks like the best way to stay out of jail is to break out. They did it! Just like the last time I watched this episode. Hmm. Angela, Mom is coming for you. Now I just need it. A... <laughs> well, if it isn't another troublemaker, you just fell into the wrong classroom. Benjamin? Velma? Velma? I haven't seen you since the teacher's pet mixer. Uh, what's going on? What in the world are you doing here? Well, well, I'm trying to retrieve an invention of mine that someone gave away without permission. It's a water collection and purification device that apparently can also be used to make, uh, <clears throat> spitballs. <laughs> what a delightful misunderstanding. I'd love to see this in action. I'd be happy to show you. Um, hello. What about us? Um... You know, Miss V, Angela was just, uh, trying to help me, and Ginger is just a kid. Oh, very well. You two, prepare to be educated. Whoa, 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 whoa. Awesome. Woo -hoo. Learning's fun! Hey, yeah. what about me? Oh. I think you need a little longer to learn what was wrong about what you did. What? You can't do that! No talking, Thomas! <laughs> now let's go, youngster. Wisdom awaits. Oh, yes! Wait! Come back! Don't leave me here! You can't leave me here! Tom, in detention for a crime he didn't commit, will he break out of his old school? Or will he remain a prisoner of that teeny tiny kid desk? <sighs> yes, he will. Oh, and the diner got automated spatulas. They're flipping burgers with, get this, TX-20 robotic arm. <laughs> what do they think they are, a satellite factory? Ha, <laughs> ah, Zini Bikini Granowish, cause you're my genie. A long distance relationship is truly the best relationship. <clears throat> oh, that reminds me, I have a surprise for you. I'm actually gonna be in town this weekend. Oh, thank goodness, the distance was killing me. There is a travel emergency for work. A top secret deadly virus. Anyway, I can't wait to see you. To mark this occasion, let's do something extremely romantic. How about an evening of enchantment at the Museum of USB Cables? Oh, you know what I'd like to do? Let's go driving. Last weekend, I had so much fun driving around with my work friend, Albert. Ha <laughs> ha, Albert! Oh, that's a fun new kind of name for a female work companion. No, Albert is a guy. <gasps> 
I, 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 guy? Yeah, he works in the gentle mechanics division. A gentle me mechanics guy? All right, then. We'll go driving, too. Hooray! Ha, I'll see you in 172,000 seconds. <laughs> How are you going to drive Xenon? What? You don't have a car. <laughs> huh? That's not his biggest problem. Who's Albert? Um, mm -hmm. I can't believe that you told Xenon that you have a car. I didn't tell her that. I, I just uh, chose not to fully explain that I did not have a car. Oh, Ben. A relationship without honesty is like candy without a bag. Where is it going to go? On the floor, in your hand, in your mouth. Ugh. All right, fine. I'll call Xenon and tell her the truth. And then she'll probably leave me for Albert with the car. Why? Stop whining. We're going to find you a sweet ride. But I love whining! This car buying site says that they have cool cars at hot prices, or hot cars at cool prices, whatever. I'm crazy doctor, internet doctor, car salesman with crazy car deals. I got four doors, two doors, no doors. I got fast cars, slow cars, cars you have to pedal. Tell them how crazy I am, nanny. Crazy doctor, internet car salesman. No offer is too low. The best in town. Don't be a clown. Come on around. Do it, Ben. Make him an offer. Do it. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm going to save my relationship. Can't put a price on love. All the money I have, and let's see, I have it. Are you crazy? That's not enough money for a car. But you said no offer was too low. No, no, the goat said that. But, 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 that's all the money we have. All the money you have? Stop whining. But I love whining. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, you're, you're, you're breaking up. <laughs> no, ah. Uh. In less than 36,000 seconds, Xenon will be here and discover my carlessness. And that will be the end of our relationship. Goodbye, Xenon. The only place I've ever driven you is into the gentle arms of Albert. Don't give up. There has to be a way for us to get a car. But how? I don't know. But while we think about it, let's have one of our barbecues. Guys! Huh? Huh? Check out my new remote control car. I painted it to look like our taxi. Pretty sweet, huh? Not now, Ginger. Mm -hmm. We need something for Ben to drive. Oh, okay. Double cheese, me head! Cheeseburger, cheeseburger! Ah, uh, you know, there's something so special about food that's being cooked on a car. Yeah, that's for sure. Car food is the... Wait a minute! Ben, you can drive the taxi! Huh, it was right under my nose and I didn't even see it. Kind of like my mouth. What's my mouth doing right now? <laughs> of course! All I have to do is put the engine back in the taxi before Xenon gets here. Now, where would I have put that engine? Oh, we got rid of that years ago. Okay, so all I have to do is build a working taxi engine before Xenon gets here. And that should do it. A lot of steps, but I think you got there. Yep, thanks. Okay, time to fire up this lean, mean driving vehicle! And then, good, good. Pete seems to be working. Blinkers, blink, blink. And now, I drive! Ben, what happened? Don't you know how to drive? Of course I know how to drive. I got a perfect score on the test. Wait, do you mean the written driver's test? Yes. Well, what about the part where you actually drive? Why would I have had to personally drive a car in order to know how to drive a car? You know what? I should help you. No, I'm going to figure this out on my own. For Xenon! <laughs> cool. Ben! You're doing it, buddy. Look at me go. I'm a motorist. OK, time to go a little faster. Hank, you can stop pushing now. <sighs> Okie dokie. I am ready to start the engine. Okay, you're going the right speed, but get back on the road! Ah! This is a staircase! There was no sign! Look out! Ah! Ah! Oh no, look at me! I'm bad! I'm a terrible driver! Fire! Mm, 
Lucky you crashed into a marshmallow factory, Ben. Mm, yep, what a delicious accident. Ooh, next, could you crash into a graham cracker factory and a chocolate bar factory? I can't drive. Now I'm gonna lose scene on. I should just call Albert and congratulate him and then slowly let myself fade away. Oh, don't worry, Ben. I'm sure Xenon would be fine hanging out with you. Car or no car? Welcome to my video vlog, Xenophiles. <laughs> I mean, in just two hours, oh, I mean, 7,200 seconds, I am going to see my boyfriend. The thing I'm most excited about is going driving in his car. Car, car, car. Thank you, computer glitch. I do not need you to tell me my relationship is doomed. Oh no! I'm such a terrible driver! My girlfriend is gonna dump me! I'm still bad, by the way! Ginger! I've had enough of your stupid remote control car! <gasps> That's it! That's how I'll drive Z on her own! Fantastic! You know, man, I'm not the measuring type, but I don't think you'll fit. So, you turn the taxi into a remote control car, okay? Now all you have to do is pretend to drive it. Technically, I will be driving it with science! I've programmed a series of romantic destinations into this car. A hillside, a computer surplus depot! Ben, I'm here! Xenon! Uh, hmm. It is so good to yes, see you, as Ben. as always. How are you? Hi. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Your carriage awaits. You will note that it is technically not a taxi. Oh, yes, I, I see that. <laughs> mm -hmm. It works! Um, I mean, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> and now I am driving you to my favorite view. Yep, me driving. That's what's happening here. Hey, what's the steering wheel doing? Ah, hey, look at the uh, that, look at the world. Oh, neat! It is the world. Whoa! Uh, Ginger, you left your remote control car in our yard. Hmm. I uh, used to be pretty good with these things. Wonder if old Race and Hank has still got it. Now where's the remote? Oh, there it is, right by the old hiding rock. Nice try, Rock. Hey, Ben. Uh, um, I want to tell you something. It, it's, mm -hmm. it, it might sound a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. no, I actually wasn't sure if you knew how to drive. <laughs> Me not knowing how to drive. Uh, well, I think we've safely put that theory to rest. I used to be so good at this. Hey, Hank, what's the problem? I can't get this thing to work. What are you doing? Just show it off for my best girl. You know I got a hee <laughs> for speed! Huh. Hmm. You think it needs batteries? Uh, let me try. Uh, perhaps you want to check out the park well, again, my lady? Oh, Ben, what are you doing? Ah! Just uh, circle in the park bench. Press this? No. What's everybody looking at? We can't make your car move. Of course you can't. You don't have the remote. Oh, then what's this control? Let me see. Broken. Maybe if I shake it. Uh, Home, what does this do? Hey guys, you just missed Xenon. She seems really great. She's like, oh, put that down! Uh, uh, what? Ben! Have you even ever driven a car? It's like you've never driven a car before you came to get me. What even was that? Xenon, <sighs> I have a confession. Ben, I have a concussion. So that's why I made the taxi into a remote control car. And I know that's not what you were expecting. And... No, it was not what I was expecting. It was better! Ben, this may be the concussion talking, but there was science, and there was adventure, and I, I got to spend time with you. Yes! Good memory! That's it! That's what we've been doing! Oh, so by messing with the remote, we actually brought Ben and Xenon closer together. Yeah, we sure showed that, Albert. What's this button do? Ginger, no! Don't press that! Too late! Pressing it! No! No, 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 no! Hank, is everything all right? No, Tom, everything is not all right. Something very, very bad has happened. 
I'll get the heavy-duty plunger. Ooh, we can't plunge our way out of this one. My favorite TV show, Bongo and McGillicuddy, is ending. Cancelled. Forever. Oh, it's okay, Hank. <laughs> there are plenty of other shows out there. Not shows I care about so much that I'd write an entire unauthorized fan guide about them. Wow, very thorough. I wish there was a way I could go right into the TV and convince Bongo and McGillicuddy not to retire. Please don't retire. Well, now that you mention it, that might just be possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! 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 With technology, uh... Hank. I meant with technology. Sweet jump, though. You got some serious air. <laughs> the screen door because it turns TV screens into interdimensional doors. Get it? Yes! I can go into the TV and convince Bongo and McGillicuddy to keep on being loose cannon cops. Wait, that sounds dangerous. Oh, it's very dangerous because it could leave Hank stranded inside the TV. Or even worse. So that means don't use it. Not until we do a full week of testing and another week of result looking. <sighs> okay, safety first, I guess. Hey, is that a computer thing? A computer huh? thing? Where? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop! Don't worry, Bongo and McGillicuddy. Here I come! Oh, no! Oh! Wow. The New Town City Police Department Super Duper Bad Guys Unit? Home of the greatest crime-fighting duo in the world! McGillicuddy? Oh! <gasps> The condensation from your banana smoothie made a ring on my report. At least on our last day of work. Can't you use a coaster? <laughs> Bongo! McGillicuddy! Listen to me! I told you, we'll be out of here in a few... <laughs> Hank? Is it really you? Huh? Wow. I can't believe it. What are you talking about? You're Hank from TV. We huh? never miss an episode of Talking Tom and Friends. What? <laughs> It's broken. Are you sure? Try shaking it. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys. Huh? Oh, cool. Hank's on Bongo and McGillicuddy. Uh, <laughs> wait. How did Hank get in the TV? Out of my way! Oh, just Ben letting him use an untested dangerous science-y thingy. No, Hank's in there because Tom the Slowpoke couldn't catch him before he jumped through the TV screen. Hey, Hank is very agile for a guy who spends so much time not moving. <laughs> That's so Tom. Wow, I can't believe I'm actually meeting the star of my favorite TV show. Wait, I don't understand. I thought I was meeting the stars of my favorite TV show. I even wrote the unofficial Bongo and McGillicuddy fan guide, see? That's why I'm here, to save your show. You guys can't retire. Why, you're the best detectives Newtown City has ever seen. Do you know how many villains are behind bars just because of you? The Tickler, Professor Jerkface, even your greatest foe of all, Dr. Technology. <laughs> I'm with you, McGillicuddy. Sending Dr. Technology to jail all those times were some of the proudest moments of our career. Bongo! McGillicuddy! I wang your badges on my desk now! Yeah, but I'm sorry, Hank. It's time for us to quit the force. I'm getting too old for this shift. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you two. Younger cops just don't get it. They're not loose cannons, and they play by the real rules, not their own. <sighs> I just can't believe that Bongo and McGillicuddy is ending. I can't believe our entire dimension is just a TV show in your dimension. Ooh, what a crazy Monday. <laughs> ah, it's only getting crazier. <clears throat> hey, Ben, why did your desk disappear? Oh, dear. It seems Hank's trip into the TV has linked our universes. If he doesn't get back here, everything in our dimension will be sucked into the TV dimension, just like he was. I'm no scientist, but that sounds like it could cause an interdimensional collision. Ah! Oh no, I came here to save your show, but now I have to get back home to save mine. Quick, hand me the interdimensional TV transporter. What do you mean? It's a high-tech thing that can send me through the TV. You know. Here, look. Season 4, Episode 3. The one with all the thievery. The victim suspects. Here it is. Interdimensional TV transporter. Uh-oh. It was stolen by your greatest foe of all. Dr. Technology. 
Wait a minute, McGillicuddy, you're right. That stolen transporter was never recovered. All right, boys, let's go to the jail and ask the doctor a few police-type questions. I got some bad news. Dr. Technology escaped from jail, and you boys can't chase him because your badges are on my desk. <sighs> now, I am going to close my eyes, and if them badges are gone when I open them, well, hey, that's what I get for closing my eyes. <laughs> Would you two stop all this arguing? We need a solution here. And I already offered one. We have to find a way to get Hank back. That's not a solution, Tom. That's literally just stating our goal. Quiet! I'm trying to watch Bungold, McGillicuddy, and Hank over here, and you three are busy being silly, and I've about had it with all this silliness! Ginger's right. All we can do is watch the Hank show and hope for a happy ending. <laughs> hey! Technology, nice of you to show up. Please make yourself comfortable, because you're going to be here all night. Wow, I've never seen someone be both the good cop and the bad cop. <laughs> this guy <laughs> is good <laughs> and bad. Bongo, McGillicuddy, who's this guy? Hey, I'll ask the questions here, you slimy, rotten suspect who's innocent until proven guilty. Now tell me what you did with the interdimensional TV transporter, or I'll make sure you go to a jail that doesn't let bad guys watch TV. I have no idea where that thing is. Huh, really? Then maybe you would be kind enough to explain what this was doing in your cell. My electric toothbrush? I use it to brush my teeth. Oh. All right, Bongo and McGillicuddy, let's get back to HQ. We've hit a dead end. I just have one final question. If this really is an electric toothbrush, why are your teeth so much more yellow than in your appearances in season 4, 6, and 15? Um, wouldn't someone with an electric toothbrush have a brighter smile? Don't let him get away! <laughs> <laughs> Aha! Wait a minute. You knew that toothbrush was a TV transporter the whole time? Wow, incredible police work. How did you notice the tint of my teeth? Because I'm a loose cannon who plays by my own rules. And you're also the writer of the unofficial Bongo and McGillicuddy fan guide. Or should I say, official. <gasps> well, at least I'm being sent back to jail by the best. Bongo, McGillicuddy, you could really learn something from this guy. I'll be the judge of that. Hank, you can actually stop with the good cop, bad cop thing. We solved the crime. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Thank you, thank you, thank you. But we couldn't have done it without Hank. Or should I say, honorary detective Hank. Wow, I don't know what to say. This is all I've ever wanted. Bango! McGillicuddy! You gave our beloved TV star illegal access to our police material and let him interrogate a suspect? I should take your badges! And polish them and then give them back to you. Because you got results. Well, Chief, that's good to hear. Because me and McGillicuddy have decided to stay on the force forever! <laughs> yeah! Well, everything turned out just the way I would have wanted. <sighs> a happy ending. Tom, does this mean Hank isn't coming home? Like, ever? I hope he does, Ginger. But he's an honorary detective now. It's what he's always wanted. <sighs> huh? <gasps> oh, right. As much as I want to stay here and be a loose cannon who plays by his own rules, I have to get home fast before my world gets canceled. Bongo, McGillicuddy, background actors playing cops, Thank you for the adventure of a lifetime. Random cop, I never got to know you, but I think I'll miss you most of all. <sighs> There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no- That's not how it works. You just hit the red button. Oh, uh, I knew that. Wait, Hank, you forgot your badge. Uh, what happened? Am I home? Of course you're home. 
You just dove into the TV and knocked yourself out for like nine minutes. But, but I was just in the TV. Bongo was there, and McGillicuddy was there, and- You must have just dreamt all that when you hit your head. Oh, really? Then how do you explain this honorary detective badge I got? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you're home, buddy. Huh? Ooh. <laughs> Thank you, Bongo and McGillicuddy. You refuse to join me! You and Chief Trailblazer will be banished to a galaxy that's super far away! Lord Evil, I shall never join you! <laughs> your ship blew up and you're all alone! You don't have a choice! Give it up, Lord Evil! <laughs> Chip, trailblazer, and robot! That's right, Lord Evil. You're outnumbered. <laughs> oh no! He's forcing me to fight on his life with his space badging! I'm sorry, Chip! <laughs> 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 Ooh, fun astronaut costumes, everyone! <laughs> Astronauts! Awesome joke, Angela! Uh... Wait, do you not know who we are? I don't know. It looks like you're a spaceship captain and Ben is your little robot helper. Uh, no, you're clearly dressed as the iconic characters from the Space Conflict film franchise. The premiere of the eighth movie is this weekend and I'm hosting it! Oh, that's nice. I've never seen Space Conflicts. <laughs> I mean, I started the first one once and I got tired and fell asleep. It didn't seem that great. Space conflicts are my favorite movies of all time. How do you not know that? Oh, man. I thought you were taking this relationship seriously. Wait, uh, don't fly away from me! Hey, Tom. Uh, uh, cool toys. Hmm. I just wanted to say I shouldn't have said that your movies weren't good. No, it's okay. You're entitled to your opinion. Oh, good. <laughs> I was worried you were still mad at me. <laughs> totally over it. Don't even worry about coming to the premiere with us tomorrow. I, I can still go with you. No, Angela, it's fine. You don't like the movies, so I guess you just won't be a part of this. Guys, guys, these are all my Lord Evil collector's one for each space conflicts movie. Ooh. When I use these to drink my milk, it's like I'm more evil. Drinking milk. Whoa. You could really see how the character has grown throughout the series. Oh, what a ride it's been. Yeah, and tomorrow night, I'll finally get an episode eight. Lord Evil Collector's Cup! Yeah, and then maybe I'll get one too and share it with <sighs> other people who like space conflicts. You know what? Maybe I'm wrong about these movies. What if I watch the whole series tonight and get totally caught up? Then I can go to the premiere with you. All right. <clears throat> now, most people watch them in this order. Four, five, six, then one, two, three, and then seven. Okay, got it. No, you don't. For the full experience, you're gonna wanna watch it in what I call Tom's order, which is one, two, four, five, seven, one again, three, then skip six until after the premiere. Mm-hmm, totally. That makes perfect sense. I am so jealous you get to watch these for the first time. A long time ago, on a planet far away, a rebel space squad fights against the Galactic Council. Meanwhile, Chip Trailblazer, a young scrap wrangler from the dunes of Hong Kroko, dreams of a life of adventure with his overclassmate, the fur beast Grimdor. Oh no. No, no, no! This is bad! 
Tom. So, what did you think? Was your favorite part when Chip Trailblazer had to fight Lord Evil with his eyes closed? Uh, well, the, th the thing is, I actually didn't... Think it was going to end like that? I know, right? Uh, yes. I absolutely did not expect that with the fighting and the eyes. I knew it. You're the greatest girlfriend in the world. Tom, I just found out they're only giving collector's cups to the first hundred people. We have to get in line now. Okay. Gotta go, Angela. See you tonight. We'll save you a spot. Yeah, see you tonight. Huh. Oh, hey, Angela. What's going on? I told Tom I watched the space complex movies, and I tried to watch them, and I fell asleep. And I have to be an expert on space complex in an hour. He'll know I lied to him. What do I do? Oh, wow. Please help me, Xenon. You're my only hope. So just because of my nerdy appearance and my love for science, you assume I'm some sort of expert on space conflicts? No, I... I didn't mean... Ah, just kidding! Of course I love space conflicts! Ugh, it's only like the best science fiction franchise ever! <sighs> you have come to the right person, Angela. I will train you. Soon you'll climb the cliffs of reason. D yay? Uh, that's a space conflicts reference. <sighs> we better get started. Any real space conflicts fan knows the famous speech Chip gives to his clone father. Repeat after me. By the light of the stars. By the glow of the moons. By the light of the stars. By the glow of the... There's more than one moon? Huh. Gravity defense! Asteroid attack! These are a pinch! <laughs> The bows aren't exactly right, but you'll pass. You never really memorize the big speech, though. Do you feel ready? Oh, I am ready. I am as ready as the psychic residents of Mental Loon were for the surprise attack in episode six. <gasps> Ooh, how'd you remember that? I made myself a little cheat sheet, just to be on the safe side. That should help. Yeah, I'm gonna fit right in. <laughs> Hello there, Lord Evil, old elf robot. And who could forget Chip Trailblazer? Lady Nebula. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> well, it looks like somebody finally discovered the joy of space conflicts. <laughs> oh, yes. I was so wrong before. Oh, oh, not so fast. Well, if you're really such a fan, you'll have a fan theory. What are your episode eight predictions based on small clues from the first seven movies? Hmm? Well, I definitely think the good guys will win in the end. I just hope the Space Squad can get past Lord Evil's asteroid cannon. Mm, all right, I'm satisfied. For now. Ah, this is going to be great. You are the best, Angela. It's finally time. The Collector's Club is Nice, Lord Evil Cup. Okay, does it glow in the dark like he does when his magic is at full power? Nope, I filled it with popcorn, though. Want some? Ew, what is this? I'd like to add soda to my popcorn. It gives it that fizz that most popcorn is missing. Oh, gross. I disagree. Ah. <clears throat> As your mayor, I have one very serious question. Who is ready for space conflicts? Episode 8, the magnetic planet! Yeah, yeah. Woo! All right. In this town, we kick off space conflicts premieres the right way. With the famous speech that Chip gave his clone father in Space Conflicts Episode 4, the first one. Now, I want to call up someone very special to do this. She's a new fan, and I couldn't be more happy to welcome her to the space of us. My girlfriend, who has never let me down, and never will, Angela! Oh, this is too much pressure! If I mess this up, I'll humiliate Tom in front of the whole town. But you won't mess it up. You're part of the space family now. Yeah, and not a fake fan, right? <sighs> Ugh, my stomach hurts. Angela, you got this? You know the words? <laughs> oh no! Ginger soda corn! Okay, uh, no need to panic. The words are in your heart. 
Use the space magic. Use the space magic. Space magic. Hmm? By the light of the stars, by the glow of the moons, I'll fight for freedom and victory. The hour is dark, but with our roller helpers from Blackstar Aid by our side, we will bring back the power of space magic! Oh. Woo! <laughs> yeah, the accent was a little off, but she did it! Look! Yeah, the movie's starting now. A giant magnet capable of trapping all metallic robots with its magnetic pull. It is up to Chip Trailblazer and the Space Squad to rescue the cyborg residents of the great city of New Starrington. Hmm. I wasn't sleeping. Did the movie start yet? Uh, I loved it. Uh, did the good guys win? What do you all think Santa will bring you? I'm hoping to get some festive socks. They're like a secret holiday for your feet. Ew! <laughs> and I just want peace Ooh. on Earth and goodwill toward all. Oh, and a cute top. I can't tell you what Santa's bringing, but I can tell you where he is. Behold! The Santa Trapper! Wait, what? I don't know. I'm pretty sure Santa doesn't want people keeping tabs on his whereabouts. Yeah, Ben. I'd be careful. You don't want to mess with the mystery and joy of Christmas. You're all being silly. Look, he's merrily moving past a mountain. Prancing to the left of a cloud. Oh, and oh. now... Huh? Ah. Oh, no! He's disappeared! Ah. Oh. What did you do, Ben? This isn't my fault. It's a good thing I was tracking him. That way we can at least work out where he was when we he... We can't lose Santa on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Little kids like me haven't gotten their loot yet. Hmm. Oh, no. What now? Santa disappeared right over the CEO's headquarters. <gasps> the CEO? Fellow lovers of holidays, huh? I've decided to keep my stores open all day on Christmas this year, just in case Santa doesn't show up tonight. <laughs> I'm not saying he won't. How would I know that, right? <laughs> but if he doesn't, you can buy your gifts from me. So, see you tomorrow. Oh, no. He's going to make a fortune selling presents. And worse, Christmas won't come this year. Or maybe ever. People, we may not be misfit elves or plucky snowmen, but I say we get out there and we save Christmas! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Are we there yet? Almost. We just have to get you into the tree, then you can sneak out and start looking around. Can I help you? <clears throat> we are here to spread Christmas cheer. <gasps> huh? Oh! <laughs> Follow me, please. <laughs> Christmas, CEO! Tom, what are you doing here on Christmas Eve? We're here to spread Christmas cheer! But we also brought you some presents. I do not accept. We're mortal enemies. That doesn't matter, CEO. Christmas is about giving. Well, I do like when people are giving. Great! Yes! <laughs> Wait. Where's that other one of you? The little loud one. Oh, you mean Ginger? He's at home, tucked in all snug in his bed. It is Christmas Eve, after all. Huh? <laughs> 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 ah. Merry Christmas, CEO! <sighs> Security! I have enemies in my office and they're not tied up. Fix this! <gasps> Run! Oh, no! No, 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 <laughs> me? Thanks a lot, Ben. Because of your stupid Santa tracker, I'm gonna spend Christmas Eve here. I should be caroling or making a snowman. Well, there are worse.
worse ways to spend Christmas Eve. You know, like... Never mind, this is pretty bad. Huh. Uncle CEO! What's this? Uncle has been forced to tie up office intruders? Shut up, Darren! Also, please untie us. Untie you? Why would I do that? Don't waste your breath talking to him, Tom. Darren doesn't care about Christmas. Hey, take that back. Of course I care about the most wonderful time of the year. Then why did you and your uncle kidnap Santa Claus, huh? <gasps> kidnap Santa? But I, I didn't. But my uncle couldn't. What are you talking about? Stop lying! You really don't know? Huh. He really doesn't know. I know my uncle would never do such a thing. Hey, Ben, show him the Santa tracker. <clears throat> I created this device to track Santa's precise location. As Ooh, you can... Why would you want to do that? Because... Never mind! As you can see, he's here. Hmm, Uncle's been upset at Santa for a while, but I never thought it would come to this. So what's it gonna be, Darren? Will you let Christmas get ruined? Or will you help us? Oh, well. Ah! Ah! What? Mm -hmm. Wow! I thought you'd take the other choice. I'm not doing this for you. I asked for some big ticket presents this year, and if I want Santa to bring them, I've got a lot of naughty to make up for. Ah! Careful! If you break anything, you'll have to pay for it! Thank! Oh, right! It looks like Santa is right on the other side of this door. Ho, ho, ho! Hello, Tom, Angela, Ben, Hank, Ginger, even Darren. You remember all our names? Oh, of course. If I didn't, how could I keep track of if you were naughty or nice? Don't worry, Mr. Claus. We're here to save you and Christmas. Oh, that's sweet of you, but no. Let me help. <laughs> really? Don't bother. Oh, don't worry. It's uh, totally not a bother at all. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it was a bother after all. I'm trying to tell you, you can't untie me because I don't want you to. What? No, but Santa, you have to get out of here before... After them! Again! It's not what it looks like, Uncle! I was trying to stop them! No! Why are you doing this? Why? Because Santa is a liar! What? Ever since I was a boy, I would open my presents alone in my office. Like most people do. I always got what I asked for, but I never felt that Christmas spirit everyone's always singing about. <laughs> then I realized why. It's because Santa made up the Christmas spirit so he'd be the only one who brings presents on Christmas. Well, that ends today. But it isn't made up. It's real. Then why don't I feel it? Me, with all my things. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Ho, 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 ho. Huh? You said you always spend Christmas alone. That's why you never understood what it's all about. 
Christmas isn't about getting presents. It's about being with the people you care about. Even if they're your mortal enemy? Even then. Merry Christmas, CEO. Uh, I don't know. This is strange. Mr. CEO, I got these pogo shoes last year, and I'd like you to have them. Ginger, are you sure? <gasps> I feel so happy. But these were a year old, and I could buy a hundred new ones. Why are these special? I think it's because you're feeling a little something we call the Christmas spirit. <gasps> I am! It's real! It's all real! I'm so sorry, Santa! Ho ho! I knew you'd figure it out, Carl! And since it's Christmas, all is forgiven! Ho ho! Yes! Ho, ho, ho. I understand now! I won't sell people things on Christmas! I'll open my stores just to give things away to anyone who asks! <laughs> Ginger, you gave up a present so that someone else could be happy. That was very nice. So you could have left at any time, but you wanted to stay to teach the CEO an important Christmas lesson. Well, that's part of the reason, yes. But there's still one more thing. Are you going to bring it to the North Pole and make magical improvements to it? No. No, no, no. Oh, no! Stop messing with the mystery of Christmas. <laughs> And that's the story of how Hank, Ginger, Angela, and Tom saved Christmas and became friends with the CEO. Ooh. Hey, we're not friends. This is a temporary truce because of the Christmas spirit. Don't push it. Uh, well, that's the end. Ladies and gentlemen, the next winner of the Talent Stars TV show, Angela! Yeah, I'm not going. <gasps> You've been preparing for this show all year. I don't have a choice. I just found out that one of the judges is Ricky DeLuna. Ricky DeLuna! <laughs> uh, um, I mean, yeah, I think I might have heard of him. No, give me a break. That guy's just... The most amazing singer in the entire world? I know! I don't know what's wrong with me, but when I see him, I just completely freeze. Like, literally, I completely freeze. There's just no way I can perform in front of him. Oh, come on. I know that you can find a way to get over your fear and unfreeze for one audition. <laughs> unfreeze, get it? That's easy for you to say. You're not me. True. I'm not you. <gasps> but what if you weren't you either? Too late. I am so me. I'm even on all my official documents. See my gym card? So, Angela. But what if you weren't you just for this audition? Huh? Hank, do you still have your box of emergency disguises? You mean this one? We'll change your look, your name, your attitude. And if you don't feel like Angela, you won't freeze like Angela. Huh? Hey, can I borrow Angela's gym membership card? This Hank guy let his expire. Yeah, no. Aww. Ah! You really think a disguise will give me confidence? Actually, people take on alter egos all the time. Like superheroes or hackers or, you know, like that weird voice Ginger uses when he wants something. <laughs> hey, Hank, can I use your skateboard? Absolutely, sir. Thank you. See? It works. Just try a few things on and see how they make you feel. Fine. Cue the montage. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa, what is this? Uh, a wig? Try it on. Huh. Wow, I don't look like Angela at all. <laughs> I don't feel like her either. I feel... Boisterous? Obstreperous? I, uh, found a thesaurus in the box. I feel fierce. I kinda like this. Hey, Hank, can I use your skate ramp? I don't see why not. <laughs> I feel this! I this! Oh, why? These people are so talented. Oh, did you see the guy who twisted up his body so he could just walk on his butt? That guy's such a genius. But I can't think 
about butt walkers right now. I have to practice so I don't freeze when I see Ricky DeLuna. Oh. <laughs> Ricky DeLuna. He's not that talented. Not as talented as the brick. Okay, seriously, how did that butt walker do that? Huh. Angela? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, senorita. Uh -huh. You must move, otherwise my angelic glow and I cannot get past you. See? I froze. I couldn't even breathe in front of him. That's why we brought the wig. I sure hope it works. Oh, it works. Whoa, what just happened to you, Angela? Oh. Who's Angela? I'm Angie Fierce. Welcome to Talent Stars! If you've got talent, we'll m -m 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 make you a star! This claim is not a guarantee of stardom and cannot be construed as such in a court of law. Court of law, y'all! Ah, I recognize you, no? You are the lovely senorita who forgot how to speak when you saw me. <laughs> Hope you do not freeze on stage, uh, Angela. Oh, there's no Angela. I'm Angie, Ricky baby. <gasps> Angie Fierce. Hit it! The sky is full of stars. At least a hundred. But the brightest one is me. For me, it is a gigante C. I agree. C. Mm. Tres estrellas. Three stars, Angela. Angie Fierce. Say my name. Ho -ho! We will see you at the Talent of Stars season premiere, Angie Fierce. Yeah. All right. You were great, Angie Fierce. Uh. The wig totally works. When I put it on, it's like I'm so confident I could do anything. I kind of wish I could wear it when I'm not on stage. This is a great afternoon, guys. Just a bunch of guys being dudes Ugh. and being bros. Hey, Ben, could you move to your left? You're really harshing my vibe. Stop talking. You're ruining my concentration. What are you little boys doing? Handstand contest for the last cupcake. We can start her over if you want to. Get in on this action. Oof. Mama's hungry. Mm, yum. Hey. Oh, oh, hey, no fair. You didn't even do the mm. game. Hey, why would you do that? Uh, let me see if I can explain. I wanted it, so I took it. <laughs> what did she become? I'm Angie Fierce and I take oh. what I want. Oh. I'm Angie Fierce and I take oh. what I want. And I don't care if this song even rhymes I'm Angie Fierce and I do what I want This is getting out of hand. I thought I'd get used to Angie Fierce, but... Real Angela love that fish. She would never do anything to hurt it. What are we gonna do? I can fix this. All I have to do is grab that stupid wig off of her head. <laughs> okay, new plan. What is a wig's greatest weakness? Pride. No, it's wind. A wig's greatest weakness is wind. I'm gonna say it again for emphasis, wind. Now watch this. What are you doing with that thing? We want the old Angela back. Uh, Angela's gone. Angie calls the shots now. Okay, I didn't want to have to say this, but until you start acting like yourself, we can't support you. So we won't be at your show tomorrow. Wow. I guess for the sake of our friendship, I should stop being Angie Fierce, right? Ugh, I really didn't want to pull the whole won't be at your show thing, but <laughs> it's really great to have you back. Ah. Uh, uh. 
bring it in for the real thing, huh? Or maybe I should keep being Angie Fierce, get super famous, make lots of money, and get better friends! What? <gasps> in fact, I don't even want you at my show. I'm Angie Fierce and I leave when I won't! Which is now... <laughs> ah, perfect. I don't even know why I checked. Oh! Look what you've become, Angie. You've driven all your friends away. You can't keep doing this. Oh, really? I'm gonna go out there, Angela, and the crowd is going to love me. And leave this to the professional. I'm a professional. You're nothing. You're not even wearing a wig. Uh, but I'm not nothing. I wrote the song you're about to sing. And I got this audition. And I developed our good grooming habits. But you froze because you didn't have the confidence to sing in front of Ricky DeLuna without me. You're right. I didn't have the confidence. Huh. You're my confidence. <laughs> You're just my confidence. Wait. Don't be so confident. <laughs> no. I'm no. an amazing singer. Get us back. And a great songwriter. Lies. But I was afraid. No. Stop it. And you taught me no. to not be afraid. Get off of me. So now back. I... Don't uh, touch the uh, hair. Uh, 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 no. no. Uh, A great but terrible teacher. Oh, oh, no! oh, I gotta go. Angela has a song to sing. Confidently. I hope nobody heard me talking to myself. Please welcome the fearless Angie Fears! Uh, Angie? Hello? Ricky, my name is Angela. <gasps> you are confusing. I like this. I want to dedicate this song to all my friends. The sky is full of stars, at least a hundred. But the brightest one is me. The forest is full of trees. That's Angela. She's back. The bravest tree, the bravest tree is me. <laughs> Lamp shot. Lamp <laughs> shot. Fridge shot. Ow! Hey! Whoa! A computer Ben juice cup shot. That's game. Yeah! Oh, good hey. job, Tom. Are you guys still playing garage? Uh... Aw, oh, man, I missed it! Sorry, Ginger. I was practicing for the game all day, but Ms. Vanthrax made me stay after school because I was distracting people with my bad skills! Throwing a ball in a classroom is distracting? Since when? She just loves punishing me. I'll tell you what, Ginger. I'm ready to go another round. Because this garage will always be a place where garage pong is not a crime. <laughs> Oh no, it's landlord! Tom, you hit his highness! Right in the highness! Prithee, my lord, do not kick us off your lands for this grand offense! Kick you out? For playing Pong Ping? Never! Oh, you. But I am kicking you out because I'm selling this place, so what? you have to leave. Bye bye! Wait! Oh. Why are you selling your house? Eh, uh, real estate deals are complicated and boring, but maybe it will make sense to you if I explain it in song. I want to live on tropical island. Eat coconuts and frolic on semi-dry land. Oh, party and play aboard yachts on seas. Ride down the lava on tiki skis And most of all Finally find love of my life Aww. This is our home! I mean, what will we do? Wah, wah, wah! You are soft and weak 
When I was boy in Mountain Village, I sleep on thorn bushes with blankets made of rocks. Oh, but you whine when I sell garage. Because it's also our office. Well, maybe new owner let you stay. You know, he says you guys are best friends. Really? Who's the new owner? Uh, something like uh, starts with C, like the sound a bird makes. C-O-O. What? <gasps> the C-E-O? He's not our best friend. He's our worst enemy. Yeah. When I was your age, we had uh. real enemy. The people biting fury fish that would bite us when we swim in Lake Ouchie. Why would you swim in Lake Ouchie? Believe me, much safer than Lake Yike. What? Please! No! Anybody but the CEO! Landlord! Come back! Call me by my island name now. Sandlord. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Uh, Hank, why are you gardening? I'm not gardening, Tom. I'm digging up my plants so I can take them with me. Hank, don't give up yet, okay? We're not leaving without a fight. Okay, back you go, little buddies. Ha! Ah! Aw. CEO, what are you doing here? Gloating. I've beaten you, Tom. Barton, Fredo, Minnie. Uh... Don't correct me, your names don't matter. What the? Whoa, what is that? It's the first piece for my museum of me. That's what uh -huh. I'm putting in here when I kick you to the curb. I think it'll look good in the place where your hopes and dreams used to go. Don't you? <laughs> I will not let him get this garage. Hey there, landlord. I'm the CEO's brother. He told me to buy the garage for him. So let's close this deal. What do you say? If you are CEO's brother, why are you so hairy? Uh, shaving is for poor people. Whatever you say, brother of CEO. <laughs> <laughs> As long as you bring me the bathtub full of money as payment, we can close the deal. Uh, how about we close this deal with the trusting business handshake? No handshake. We agreed. Bathtub full of money. I see. Good day, sir. We need another plan. Aloha, landlord. Sit down. Have a coconut. And now we present a song guaranteed to make you want to keep the garage. You don't need to go to a tropical island. We have coconuts and big sand too. No need for the big waves of the ocean. We can leave the garden hose ready for you. Bravo! Now, point me to the love of my life and maybe I stay. We don't have that part yet, but have you ever tried skimboarding? <laughs> hmm. All right, show's over. Oh, no. Start packing. Ah! <sighs> Are you actually giving up on the garage after all it's done for you? It's over, Ginger. We tried everything. Coconuts, sand, disguises, even skimboarding. But we couldn't give the landlord what he wanted most of all. The love of his life. The love of his Huh? I have an idea that might solve both our problems. Something happened at detention today with Miss Banthrax. I was cleaning the masks that she uses to scare the children into behaving. Some of them are of her. <laughs> Miss Banthrax, this is a creepy punishment when all I did was draw a picture of you as a cyclops. Thanks for noticing. I live alone, so I've got nothing to do but think of creative ways to punish children. <laughs> Ms. Vanthrax is single, and the landlord wants to mingle. So if we get them together, she'll be too busy to punish me. And if the landlord is in love, he won't want to leave, which means he won't sell the garage. I think you're on to something. <laughs> Well, I guess people do need lessons to play these things. Let me try. I watch a lot of violin-based television. Hmm. Whoa. TV, you've never failed me. She's here. Guys, remember, be romantic. Mm -hmm. I'm here about your ad for the masks that can scare children. Uh, uh, Thomas, 
I never thought I'd see you in the fast-paced world of scary masks. I think you'll find that this night is full of surprises. I just want the masks. Oh, what's your hurry? Please, come on in. Oh, no. <laughs> I see what's going on here. You arranged this romantic situation to set me up with an available gentleman, <laughs> didn't you? Uh, no. <laughs> Everyone assumes a beautiful, sophisticated gal like myself is looking for a man. Well, I'm not. But you said... I mean, I heard you just sit around all day thinking of punishment. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> that's what I love to do. And that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the evening. Okay, Tom, Ooh. show me this rare mold you found growing in kitchen. What's going on here? Did you arrange this romantic situation to set me up with this distinguished lady here? <laughs> Absurd, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not working. I just need a little more of a push. <clears throat> wow, you guys really figured us out. Darn, we hoped tricking you would be easy. Easy? That's the problem with you. You want everything to be easy. Mm, so true. Kids these days are soft and weak. Yes, they are. You tell me more about how kids have it these days. Well, they're always complaining. Such complaining, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> when I was a child, we never complained. And we used to sleep on rocks with thorn bushes for blankets. Ah, tell me more. Yes. <laughs> it's working. We're going to get to keep the garage. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is crazy, but tell me, how do you feel about tropical islands? I've always wanted to live on one. I finally live on tropical island Cause I found the love of my life I'm the love of his life But guys, if they run away to a tropical island, we still lose the garage! Ah! After a series of nail-biting ups and downs, our plan is ultimately just a down, down, downer. Mm. But Miss wow. Anthrax is going away, so half the plan worked. My half! Good for you, Ginger. <sighs> Ugh, I'm gonna regret this. <gasps> oh. Take that, Anthrax! Ginger! I don't know what you are thinking, but you've just arrowed yourself into a week's detention. Oh, no! Well, I guess I deserve it for being rambunctious. Wait a minute! You can't give me detention! You're gonna be on a tropical island! Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, handsome. I can't leave this town when everything I love is here. Specifically, I mean many children that need to be punished. I understand. In that case, I'm not selling. I can't leave this remarkable woman. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Oh, you right. did it, Ginger. You saved the garage. Watch out. You're about to get detention from a beautiful lady. <laughs> and after that, dinner? I'd like that. <laughs> and I hope you like third grade, because you're never leaving it. Ah! Remember my sacrifice! Wow, that was one brave kid. <laughs> Voila! Hurry! We don't want to miss the grand opening of the hippest slushy store in town! I want to be the first in line to try their amazing color combinations! <sighs> and I want to try their blue! Uh, that's a missed opportunity. I found that the real test of a slushy artist is if they can handle the simple elegance of blue! Congratulations! You're being promoted <gasps> to intern! Do I get to press the secret button that makes the elevators get stuck? Even better, you get to be in charge of cleaning my beloved Goldie's fishbowl! Wait, but that's physical labor! Can't you get a robot to do that? You need the caring hand of a person to clean a fishbowl. I'm trusting you to be that caring hand. Or else... I'm off to golf and have meetings. No, Uncle CEO, Good stop. luck, Karen. Or as I'll now call you, intern. Oh. This is a waste of my talents, fish. No, 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 no,
I like blue. Ah, another day where I don't stray out of my comfort zone. No! Huh? So the fish literally fell out of the sky? Like a fish angel. But not an angel fish. This is so unfair! The only thing that ever fell into a cup I was holding was a bug. It's not so great, Ginger. My slushy was ruined. And by the time we got back to the store, the line was around the block. How could this have happened? Was someone testing a fish catapult? It's a mystery. And so far, the fish isn't talking. There is something familiar about it. Hmm. Are you going to keep it, Hank? No way. My life is complicated enough without a fish coming in and shaking everything up. I don't even know how to take care of one of these. What kind of food do fish eat? Fish food? Where am I going to get that? Sorry, buddy. You and I are going to have to part ways. Don't look at me like that. It's what's best for both of us. Go on. Shoot. Get out of here. Oh. Hey! I got something! Just another bug. I made a found fish poster. Do you think I should ask for a reward? <laughs> huh? Oh, sorry, Tom. Me and Orangey here were just waiting to see if this show had any sharks. You know, to give her something to look up to. Orangey? You named the fish that you're getting rid of. I've been thinking it might not be so bad to keep Orangey around. And I've been studying up on the proper care of these creatures. Here you go, Orgy. Hank, someone might be looking for that fish. I mean, we should at least put these posters on some of these telephone poles. Tob, Orgy isn't a guitar lesson or a used sofa. She's a friend. A best friend, you say? Well, it's still a little early for that, but things are definitely looking promising. Mm -hmm. Huh. <laughs> Guys, this fish has changed my world. I've got to admit, she really brings out the best in you. And you know, it's nice that you'll have something to do while me and Tom are busy running a company and being in relationships and when I'm winning science awards and Tom is the mayor. And... I know, right? Now we're all busy. Guys, you might want to check out what's happening on TV right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with a heavy heart that I tell you that my beloved Goldie has gone missing. Oh, I feel bad for him. Oh. Uh, Hank? When the fish fell into your cup, were you walking past the CEO's building? Hmm. Hard to say. You know, I think we were by his building, but why do you... <gasps> oh, no. Goldie hasn't been seen since my intern cleaned her bowl, which he repeatedly assures me went fine. Right. It was a textbook bowl cleaning. I think it was... Fish thieves. Fish thieves? This keeps getting worse. What are you all talking about? Am I missing something? Hank, that's not your fish. Hmm? It's the CEO's fish! <gasps> uh-uh! His fish has an entirely different color-based name, right? I don't cry, but I've hired a man to cry for me so you'll all understand how much I miss my fish. <laughs> this pathetic man is a reflection of my heart, so if you know anything, please help me get my Goldie back. Cry harder! I'm really sad! Look at those pictures! It's the same fish! We have to do the right thing and bring her back. Yeah, you're right. We'll have to bring her back. Orangey, run! Run! Wait! Hey, put that down! Uh, Hank? If we don't give the fish back, we'll be forever branded as... Fish thieves. No, Orangey is my friend, so I'm just gonna have to tell the CEO and O. Are you They don't want us to be friends, but we only need each other. See, we'll watch TV on this. We'll build a whole life in here together. Come on, it's on every channel. What are you doing? Why are you swimming towards the CEO? <gasps> oh.
guys. I talked to Orogy and, well, I'm ready to bring her home. Okay, yeah. good, good. Now, all we have to do is figure out how to get that fish back in its office. Angela, you'll drive up to the building in a seafood delivery truck. Meanwhile, Ben will happen to be in the lobby for a meeting dressed as an aquarium employee. Now, as everyone knows, when aquarium people and seafood people see each other, everyone expects a fight. So, the distraction will draw the receptionist away from her desk, giving me and Hank a four-minute window to enter the CEO's office. Wait a minute. What if you just tell the CEO the truth about what happened? It's not like you did anything wrong. And he said he just wants his fish back. Oh, yeah, that might be easier. <sighs> All right, come on. Can we make it quick? Because my heart is telling me to run. Oh. Hello, CEO? We have your fish. Huh? Goldie, is it really you? It'll be okay, Orgy. Promise you'll remember me whenever you fall out a window. It turns out the fish uh, fell out of your window and, and landed in Hank's drink. Uh, yeah, but, uh, you know how that goes. <laughs> oh, sweet Tom, you don't have to tell me anything. <laughs> because nothing you say is going to stop me from revenging on you like I've never revenged before. What? But you said on TV you just wanted the fish back. Oh, I wanted two things. I wanted Goldie back and revenge. I bet they stole Goldie so they could bring her back and be heroes. This fish may have stolen my heart, but I would never steal this fish. You boys are going to jail. <gasps> and not the nice jail I would go to if I ever say, oh, punch the king. No, you're going to regular jail. Uh, <sighs> uh, wait, huh? Orgy's tried to tell us something. She's scared of Darren. She's rattled from being stolen. Oh, Goldie, you're with friends now. Or Darren is the one that dropped her out of the window. <gasps> That's a lie. I was being careful with Goldie, just like I'm being huh? now. No, Orgy! No. Oh, no, no. 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 no, no, Goldie, no! Oh, no. My inheritance, I mean my uncle. <laughs> We have to save Goldie! Hand her to me, and then fall to your doom! Huh? Orangey! Ah! So... It's all true. You're the only thing worse than a fish thief. You're a fish dropper. You're fired from being my intern. You're back to just being Darren. No, Uncle CEO, please. Get out. Oh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> and you two, you saved my fish. And as a sign of my gratitude, I won't call security. For 30 seconds. Let's go, Hank. Come on, I'll buy you a slushy. Nah, I don't think I'll be drinking any slushies for a long time. Too many memories. What's that, Goldie? You can't really mean that. Wait! Huh? Maybe someday you can see Goldie again. <gasps> really? Do you mean it? Wow, CEO. Looks like there's some kindness in your heart after all. Huh? Wait, uh, that, it seems inaccurate. Time's up, Tom. Security! Let's go, Hank. Same as always? Blue? Nah, blue is for people who won't leave their comfort zone. I think I'm ready to try red, or yellow, or, or what about orange? No, mauve, a plaid. Angela, you totally called that the popcorn machine was Maximus Sweetbot in disguise. How'd you know? I just had a feeling. Oh. Yard sale! Oh. Oh. Yard sale! There's a yard sale! This is not a drill! Come on, Hank. We don't have any more room for any more junk. Junk? You call this stuff junk? Huh. Hank, that's a broken microwave. <laughs> it's not broken. It's convenient. Now there's nothing between me and the totally harmless radiation that cooks my food. Whoa, guys! Check this out! <laughs> Wow! I can't believe my eyes! That's Dad's Rebellion! 
Whoa, we must buy this game. And we will buy this game. So we're just gonna buy an arcade game and keep it in the house? Is that allowed? Of course, Ginger. All we have to do is pay what I am sure is a very reasonable price. Okay! Wow, way more zeros than I was expecting. I guess we'll learn about disappointment from this experience. No, Angela, if my plan works, we'll learn nothing from this experience. It's time for an old-fashioned money hunt. Ah! Yeah! Oh. Ah! Okay, Dance Dance Rebellion will be ours in no time. It won't. We can't even afford the power cord. Why would we want the power cord without the game? Think, Ben. Well, I was using hyperbole. <sighs> what we need now is a miracle. Dance Dance Rebellion! Here we come! Oh, Whoa. where did you get all these coins? A coin finder never reveals his spots. All that matters is we have enough money to get what we yeah! Woo! Especially if what you want is to pay more rent, because the rent just went up this much. What? Yeah. Why are you raising the rent? Sad story. My psychic Madam Caesar suddenly quit. Hmm. And new psychics are very, very expensive. Hey! Uh. Uh, see, Madam Caesar would have worried uh. about pants rupture! <laughs> uh. Wait, we can't just let the landlord come in here and take all of our Dance Dance Rebellion money. I think we just did. Well, we have to get it back. But how, Tom? How? I'll swing by my coin spot and get all the money we need. That's the perfect amount. Let's go. No, my coin spot is a secret. Huh. I must go alone. We are never going to reach our goal if the landlord keeps taking our extra money to pay for a phony baloney psychic. The worst. Hey, my mother is a psychic, and so is her mother. And her mother. Huh, that's weird. All the women in my family are psychic. Um, anyway, we should be thinking of solutions here. Angela, maybe you are the solution. Are you psychic? Oh, come on. I might be. I did know what would happen in Morph Robots 5. It's good enough for me. If we can make huh? Angela the landlord's new psychic, he won't have to raise the rent. Uh -huh. And we can get that bag of money back. And Ooh. then it'll be dance, dance, city. Ah! Population us! Hooray! My life is falling apart without Madame Cecil. <clears throat> well, if you want your life to fall back together, let Angela be your new psychic. She has the gift. And I'll charge the same as Madame Cecil, so you can give us back that money bag you took. Uh, but how do I know you're not pulling the wool over my eyes? Yes, eyes. Tell me more. I'm all... Ears. Ears. Amazing. You are hired. N no, not yet. Let's see if you are as good as Madame Cecil. Wow, Angela, it really seemed like you were reading his mind. Oh, I don't know if I could read minds. I just knew what he was thinking. Hmm. I hope she can't read my mind. Oh, no. I'm not that good with the gift yet. <gasps> So, your secret coin spot is the town wishing fountain! Busted! Hank, please don't tell! If I'm the one who buys the Dance Dance Rebellion machine, I'll be a hero boy! But, Ginger, people throw coins in there to make a wish! Maybe they wish for me to have their money? Nice try, Ginger. You're messing with wishes, and that's bad luck! Bad luck is pretend! But you know what is real? Dance Dance Rebellion! Oh, oh no! <laughs> it's already begun! Hey! Hank, why did that just happen? I put all the coins back. Are you sure? Look around. Maybe you dropped one. <gasps> the landlord has my first bag. I have to get those coins back or, or you'll have, have bad, bad luck forever. forever. Is that what you just said, Hank? Uh -oh. <laughs> Yeah! Ah. Ooh. Okay, maybe new psychic. Tell me which fancy chocolate I will not spit out in disgust. Hmm. That 
Pac-Man. Coconut in middle, my favorite. Your new name is the Amazing Angela because you are magnificent. I will never make decision without you ever again, ever. Ever? Ever? Lord, you're done with all his superstitious silliness and then he should start making decisions for himself. Great idea, Ben. Thanks. If we can make the landlord think he's psychic like Angela, he won't need her anymore. That, that is not what I said. I don't know, Tom. It doesn't seem right to lie about the gift. Amazing Angela, quick question. Which box has the free price? Never mind. Let's lie about the gift. Ooh, I'm picking up a strong signal. You want to know what it is? Yes. You are a psychic. Me? Impossible. If I was psychic, wouldn't I know it? Mm, we don't fully understand the gift. Maybe I transferred some of my powers to you. The only way to find out for sure is to do a test. There they are. The wishing fountain coins. I'm going in. Be careful, Ginger. To pull this off, you're gonna need some luck. And you don't have any. First question. What shape is on this card? Harness your psychic energy and really try to see it. Uh, okay. Uh, buffalo shape. Um, correct! Really? Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, that's a good sign. A psychic sign. Wow, I'm tingling all over. Let's try another test. Now, tell me what kind of fruit is in this bowl. Uh, dragon fruit. Uh, but what kind of normal fruit is in this bowl? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Fruit, 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 fruit. <sighs> Banana. Banana? Banana! Right again! <laughs> it looks like you really do have a gift. Yes, this is fun. What is this? Oh. <laughs> it looks like you are full of trickery. Ah! Ha -ha! Tom is hiding down under the table. Ah. Looky here. This is the most star-shaped buffalo I have ever seen. Everything is so clear to me now. You even have Ginger stealing my coins. Ah! Uh, wait. How did you know that Ginger was in there? The same way I know Ben is about to burst in complaining. All right, sorry to complain, but someone stole my shape cards and my fruit. What's going on? I think the landlord really is psychic. <gasps> Honestly, we did try to trick you with the cards and the fruit, but we didn't know Ginger was here or that Ben was going to show up. I am getting sense what you say is true. Don't you see what happened? Somehow, my gift gave you the gift, and now you're psychic. Yes, I have the gift. Well, I guess that means you don't need me anymore. Correcto mundo. <sighs> Well, since you're psychic, can we get those coins back? Yeah, I don't want those anymore. Yes! Dance, dance, rebellion, here we come! No! Huh? Trust me, Tom. You don't want those coins either. Right, Ginger? Yes, landlord. You see, I took these coins from the town wishing fountain. And I admit that. I take full responsibility. Now he has to return them, or he'll have bad luck forever. Oh, please. Nobody is psychic, and there is no such thing as bad luck. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What are you looking at? <laughs> hey! I'm taking you back home now, so pull off your birds. <gasps> <laughs> 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 
Okay, so the man at the store said this mystery game will be a bonding experience. Or it'll tear our friendships apart. I'm hoping for bonding. Ooh, my character is Dr. Moreau, a suave French physician. Enchanté. And I'm Detective Mulholland, a hard-nosed lawman with a past. Hmm, I was hoping to play someone a bit less like myself, but now oh well. I'll tell you who I am in a minute. I almost have enough quartz to make a dropper to my city builder game. Hey! No phones allowed, Ginger. Or should I say, Sebastian the Little Butler? Oh, man. Can I at least be a dinosaur butler? What? No, that's not how this works. Tom, we're about to start the mystery. Just a minute. Hmm, does this tie say, Bartholomew Wellington, international spy? <laughs> hmm. The code book, I presume. Angela's diary, where she keeps her deepest thoughts that she can't tell anyone? Uh, I, I, I better pretend I didn't see this. Or I could just read it. But just one word. One innocent word. Tom. <gasps> Tom. Okay, I'll read two innocent words. Tom can't. Tom can't know my secret. secret. <laughs> Secret. What's her secret? You can't write that and not explain it. It's Tom. Ah! Secret. I mean, Angela. Uh, sup? What's taking you so long? We're all waiting for. Oh, wow. Uh, it is such a mess in here. <laughs> uh, much better, right? Don't you think that's better? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You keep a tidy room. Thank you all for joining me, Madame Cassandra, for an evening of refreshments and mystery. Ooh, I like both of those things. You see, somebody in this room is a rotten jewel thief. Hmm. <laughs> One of us has a deep, dark secret. <laughs> is it the doctor? <laughs> the detective? Hmm. The butler? Or the spy. What about hmm? the lady, huh? Could the lady have a deep, dark secret? Hmm? I suppose you'll have to find out. I suppose I will. Okay, we have a half an hour to talk to each other and look for clues. Then we gather back together for the plot thickens round. He doesn't look like a jewel thief. Now we can do this the easy way or the hard way. I'm gonna ask you some questions. Oh. Oops. Ben, I need to ask you something. I'm sorry, Mr. Wellington. I believe you have me mistaken for somebody else. Some lousy sap named Ben. No, I really... <laughs> <sighs> Fine. <clears throat> Ma I have a word, detective. Make it snappy. Right. So, I think that Ange, uh, Madame Cassandra is hiding something. But I can't just ask her, or do you think I should just ask her? Now listen, Wellington, if you directly question a lady, she'll confound and misdirect you. If I was you, I'd search for a clue first. Clues? Clues? Yeah, see, that's what the game is all about. Seriously, Tom, that's the game. Hmm. Cozying up to the spy, eh? I'm watching you, Mulholland. Isn't it, Sebastian? Uh, if you say so. It says here that you were seen admiring Mr. Haberdash's prized ruby collection two days before the very same jewels were stolen! Seems awfully suspicious to me. Mm-hmm, awfully suspicious. Ginger! Oh, come on! I have to water my yam garden so my city can get prestige! There were no phone video games back in mystery times. Well, what if my... Well, she's just gonna have to wait until after we solve the jewel mystery. You'll be sorry you messed with Sebastian the Little Butler! Come on, Clues. You can't hide forever. <sighs> what am I doing? What's necessary? <clears throat> huh? Bartholomew Wellington. Charm. <gasps> Whoa, 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 you, you, you're not real. 
You're just the character that I'm supposed to be playing. Your mind created me to help with the mystery of your girlfriend's diary. With my spy skills and your ability not to be stuck on a card, we're sure to crack this nut. No, I, I've betrayed Angela's trust enough already. If she's keeping a secret from me, I'm sure she has a good reason. I am done snooping. Ta-ta! Hey! This way! I bet there's a doozy of a clue in her emails. Always check the emails. Stop, you can't... Wait, do you really think that there's something there? I do, which means you do too, because I am your mind. You two are gonna be so good together. Tom doesn't know, right? Oh, what? he is like so hot. Thank you for trusting me with a secret. Tom is going to freak when he finds out. <sighs> Welly Pid, uh, oh, what uh, are you up to? Uh, investigating. Leave me alone. Oh, the tangled webs we weave. Time to reveal another clue. Knockout gas attack. Whoever reads this has to lie down and close their eyes for five minutes, what? Sure, unconventional. But that's the name of the game, isn't it, sweetheart? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, uh. Oh. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Hmm. It appears that Angela's been seeing some other chap. I, for one, am gobsmacked. And I do not gobsmack easily. How could she? Who is this clown? It is time to focus. You must find her mobile phone. You're right. She must have called this guy. If I find the phone, I'll find her secret and crack the case. Now you're thinking like an international spy. Bingo jackpot. <laughs> Me, me, Ben, me. Tom! Get your own secret spot! What are you doing out here? Go back to the party before Angela gets suspicious. No! I was here first, and the sidewalks of my digital city aren't gonna power wash themselves! Ginger, I am trying to solve a mystery! What do you think you're doing? Um, uh, checking to see if the butler did it. Can't be too careful, right? Ah! Uh, since everyone is having such a hard time focusing, we're just gonna skip to the accusation round. I got an accusation, all right. It's clear that somebody in this room has a terrible secret. Yeah, you said it, buddy. That somebody is Bartholomew Wellington. What? I second that accusation. Okay, look. I'm not the jewel thief, okay? You're missing the point. You've been using all kinds of classic diversion strategies all night. Sneaking around by yourself, doing everything you could not to participate in the party. Yeah, that makes sense. Tom did it. Can I have my phone back now? I'm not the stupid jewel thief. And if I was the jewel thief, I wouldn't hide something like that from people I care about. No, I would be upfront about it so that no one found my secret accidentally, which is more than I can say for some of you people. Specifically you, mm -hmm. Angela! Oh, Tom's finally getting into the game. Hmm. I'm not the jewel thief! I swear! When the rat is cornered, that is when it is at its most dangerous. Oh, give it up, Angela. Your secret is out. I know everything. Uh... Or at least almost everything. I know something. Uh, I really am not the jewel thief. Unbelievable! I trusted you! Ow. I am the jewel thief! Okay, Tom, oh. what is going on? You've been acting super weird all night. I know about your secret with the guy that's so hot. You tried to keep it from me, but I found out. You did? I'm sorry, I just wanted it to be a surprise. A surprise! You kept a terrible secret from me so that when I found out I'd be surprised? Well, well, mission accomplished, I guess. Why are you so mad? Doing a music video with Ricky DeLuna is a huge opportunity. You're doing a, 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 a music video? Yeah, but I didn't want to tell you until I was totally sure it was happening. What did you think was going on? I just uh, assumed secret hot guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, I feel really stupid. Come on, dude. Be less paranoid. Ooh. <laughs> 
so this is a big misunderstanding. <laughs> oh, man. See, when I read your diary and then I saw this email... Wait, I was... hold on. You read my diary? Right, uh-huh. Then I was going through your phone... Oh, I can't believe you, Tom! Oh, can we go back to a few seconds ago when we were laughing? Ugh. Angela! Angela, wait! Oh. oh, well now. It seems I've led you astray. Awkward! Whee! Wait, no, there's a puddle! Puddle! Are you still there? I can't see you. I landed face down. I don't even care. I like it in this puddle. It's like my own little swimming pool. La-di-da! Okay, I was lying. Tom, pick me up. Tom! Tom! 